All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Let me know, please, if you have any problem from your side. I'm adjusting my microphone here. <clears throat> uh, today, our topic is same as yesterday, same as the day before, same as the day before, same as the day before, but every day is a new topic because still, even if it's the same topic, still there's more things to learn. Who is Allah? Hmm. My Skype is open, and today I decide to have an open challenge to any Muslim to call me. And the challenge is very simple Who is Allah? Any Muslim knows? You see, one of the funny things about Islam that they give you speeches about Allah. You ask a Muslim who's Allah, he said to you, he's the creator. I'm not asking you what he do. Who is he? He is the one who created you. <laughs> First of all, there's no proof of that. <laughs> Secondly, this is not the question. Who is Allah? Not a single Muslim can give you an answer. Muhammad himself never spoke to him, never heard him, never see him, never see him. How you know this guy is exist? Who is Allah? If you want to convert someone to your religion, regardless if it's a cult or a true belief, shouldn't you at least tell him who is the God you are worshipping? Who is this guy? His name is Allah. What, what the name Allah mean? You don't know. If you search all the articles Muslims they come with about Allah, you will not find one of them come with any, any proof of what Allah is about actually I debated many Muslims and many of them they said to me nobody knows who's Allah including high scholars Dr. Rohi the Imam from Al-Azhar he said he do not know who's Allah Imam Malik Sar from Tennessee he do not know who's Allah Dr. Nabil Baikli the head of the Islamic Center of Tennessee he do not know all of them they do not know who's Allah and they said that to me clearly if you go with my debate in the Dr. Nabil Baikli, you will see, I think in the, the video is cut like two pieces, 10 minutes each, you know. I think it's number nine or 10, something like this. He said, first of all, no one knows who is Allah. No one knows who is Allah. <laughs> are, you, are you sure? <laughs> so what are you worshipping? All this propaganda and spending money and you want to convert people to Islam and Islam is a solution and Islam is best and but nobody knows who is Allah That is the most funny stupid thing ever you can hear Let me see if I can find you the part where he says that nobody knows who is Allah. I will try. Hold on. When he says talks about days, what's the question? What the question? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what well, the question? Somebody, <laughs> somebody forgot the question, huh? Okay. The question is, somebody asked you, said, how many days Allah took him to create the, the earth? Yeah, How many days, Allah? Yeah, take, take the mic, please. Yeah, I need to find. I need. I need to find. Maybe, maybe you guys, some of you, I will give you the. I will give you the the the, the video, where. Uh, where the list of. Uh, of the debate. And some of you, maybe if somebody can volunteer to find me, number seven. Number seven. Is it number seven? Okay, let me see. I will go to number seven then. Number seven. This is where that yellow texture came from. Let us see. And I want uh, you all to have it. Human blood flowing through the vein. Talking let about is not testicle, but seminal fluid. Oh, hold on. Somebody told me that Dr. Rohi is online. He can call me in. 
but did he say he wanna call me? All right. Well, let me open Pal Talk then. Hold on. Give me a second. Well, maybe uh, Doctor Rohi he can answer us. Who is Allah? And you will see how how the answer will be. <laughs> Perfect. So give me a second. Let me log in Pal Talk. Um, and try to contact him. Oh, no, that's not what we want. Uh, you know what? We did not post even in uh, in Facebook that we are on on air. Let me post. Hey guys, please share with everybody that we are on air, because there is many people do not know yet that we are here. Uh, let's see. And I will log in now. And Pal Talk at the same time. All right. <clears throat> And now we go to Pal Talk. There's a guy he's saying in text in Arabic, Filist Philistine is going to be free one day. <laughs> That's a good one, Hassan. How are you doing, Hassan? You, you watch too much fiction movies, my friend. What about praying that Allah will make Mecca horror one day? Even your Mecca is protected by the American. Do you see they ask they ask Trump to punish the, the Saudi government and not to uh, give them weapon to protect themselves don't you see that 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 Trump he says if if not if not us Iran will eat you alive in 2 days actually in 10 minutes this is what he said anyway this is not my topic i don't really but you can keep praying my friend obviously your god allah is listening as long as you are praying to allah things will come true all right. Let us see if Dr. Rohi is online. I don't see him online. The one who said that Dr. Rohi is online, well, he is not. Oh, here, here, here. I found him. But maybe he is not. Let us see. Hey. Okay, let us see. Hello? 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 Assalamu alaikum, Dr. Rohi. Alaikum salam, Christian Prince. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Very good. Very good. Uh, uh, I'm glad that you are on online and somebody told me that you want to call me. Uh, actually, we are live on air and we have a topic which is who is Allah? Can you please like you are a person who have a PhD? And by the way, and the other day, some Muslims, they keep saying, how does guy he have a PhD? I mean, some Muslims, they are saying you don't have a PhD. What do you think of that? Uh, what said Allah? Some Muslims, ask some, about Allah and yeah, what? Who is Allah? The topic is who is Allah. Yes. Hmm. Who is Allah? Just a minute, please. All Just right. a minute. So, guys, please invite your friends. We have Dr. Rohi with us live on air, as you see, and uh, Dr. Rohi he is a person who have a PhD from Al Azhar University, which is the highest uh, um, Islamic uh, school. Uh, uh, which supposedly he have a lot better education than mine. You know, for me, I have a bachelor degree only in Islamic law. Dr. Rohi have a PhD, and you can tell there's a big difference, right? Uh, so we expect a high knowledge from high educated person. <clears throat> Uh, 
All right, Dr. Rahi, are we there? Uh, okay, yes. Uh, I am tired uh, tonight, but uh, uh, my friend uh, told me to debate with you, so I will debate because you are a respect person, and I like to debate with uh, you, my friend. Thank you, thank you, Dr. Rahi. You're welcome, and I'm happy to have you with us today. And anytime you feel that you are tired, you need to go, please just, you know, say so, and you will be, you know, your way to bed. I understand. So who is Allah? Thank you. So who is Allah, Dr. Rahim? People are listening. Is my, uh, is my voice clear now? Yes, your voice is good. Your voice is good. Yes, thank you. Hmm. Name of, uh, of Allah took from Ali Hashay. Ali Hashay, it means he worshipped him. Then it, this name was given uh, to God uh, only. Look, the great uh, king didn't dare to be called himself Allah. Uh, uh, this so, name so again. So what? The Greek king? Uh, I said the most great king uh, oh. didn't dare to be called himself uh, Allah. Name of Allah took from Ali Hashay, it means he worshipped him. And, and where you get, uh, where you, where you get this from? I mean, Ali Hashay, Ali Hashay, which worships something. So you are saying that Allah is not a name, Allah is just a word being worship something. No, no, this name was known to Arab before Islam, but we don't know the first person who, uh, person who said this name, but we can say that name of Allah is, is Arabic. Translation to four uh, Hebrews word Olahim, which it means uh, God and the uh, word Olahim took from verb uh, Allah, Allah or Ilya in Hebrew. Hmm. Uh, so okay, so the the original of the word Allah is it Arabic or or Hebrew? It is from Arabic, from but Arabic. it is in, a brief, okay. in Hebrew. So, but you are uh, saying nobody knows who is the first one who used that name, correct? Yes. Okay. And yes. How, as long as you do not know who is the first one who, who used this name, how you know that this is, was an Arab? If you do not know him, if you do not know the history, you do not know the date, you do not know the person, how you know that the first one who used it is an Arab? It is in the dictionary of all the dictionary in well, Arabic. There is, no Arab. there is no dictionary. All the dictionary are guessing about what Allah because simply there is no there is no definition. Anybody, nobody can like you. Like now, if this is what the dictionary said, he will go refute the dictionary because in order to tell me I am a dictionary and I'm going to teach you about the language, you have to tell me where you get from the roots of it. And then what you say to me that there is a guy. He he is the first one who used that word Allah, and we do not know who is he. So how dictionary can come to a conclusion like this? A dictionary is made by a man like you and me. Yes, you know? the dictionary Arabic uh, it is rich for the root of the word. Ali Hashay. No, my Ali friend, Hashay. This, is, this is false. The word Ilah have nothing to do with Ali Hashay. The word Ilah, first of all, is not even an Arabic word. It is coming from the word A-L or E-L. In the ancient Aramaic, they used to use, one the same as the Hebrew, when they speak about God, they add a l in the beginning of the word or at the at the end of the word in the in the new hebrew they change the a l from a l to e l so now they say elohim so il is a word meaning god it's not a name of a god but you as a muslim you consider allah as a name not as a word meaning god not worshiping something and you just said to me that the origin of this thing that somebody he said he worshiped something and this is ali hashay which means allah so Allah is worshipping something. So you Muslims, you worship something, but you do not know what is that thing. Because the second you say something, it means it's unknown. Yes. Uh, Allah, yani اسم الجلال هو أنا كما قلت اشتق uh, from Ali Hashay, يعني عبده. ثم أو يعني then أطلق هذا على الخالق. Then no it problem. means he worship him. My friend. You said you keep repeating the same thing, saying Ali Hashay worships something. So your God Allah is something. How you worship something which is unknown because something is mean it's something is unknown. It's something. You see, when I say when I say I know what I'm talking about, like even in Arabic, in same in English, 
you know in English they put the word the before the name and that will make it known in Arabic we add the, the, the two letters a L right and that will make it known a little Arif so here you are saying to me that Ali Hashay is worshiping something and you as a Muslim worshiping something but you do not know what is that something and this is the question we go back to zero what is that something you worship who is Allah Uh, I said I don't know who the first person he called this name Allah, but it is uh, uh, this is a proof that this name is the true name for Allah. Why? Because now look at Lord uh, or God or God uh, in English uh, or Khudawind uh, in Paris in يعني. في الفارسي أو أولاهيم بالعبرية أو ديو بالن فرنش أو ديفينيتا. إلهيم is not a name of God. إلهيم is a word meaning gods actually not God. So our God is name is not إلهيم. This is not a this is not a name. So I'm asking you now. You Muslim you consider Allah as a name, not just a word meaning God. And now you are telling me that Allah is is coming from saying worshiping something. And I repeat myself again, and I know when I'm going to get the answer. That thing you say you call it something. Allah is something. How in the world we worship something, and which means we do not know who is Allah. You do not know, and all this circle now you are trying to give me definition about Allah, but you do not know who is the one who named it and why he named it and what it says about and how you know that is what he meant. There's no proof. Secondly, Allah is not one word. It is Al and Lah. Al is a word meaning God in the old Aramaic and the ancient Hebrew. Al La, this is God La. So your God name, the true name of the, your God is La, not Al La. This is why if you go to the Quran, chapter one, verse number one, and chapter one, verse number two, it says, Bismillah alhamdu, Bismillah rahman rahim alhamdu lillahi rabbul arami. What happened to Allah? It is became lil La, li La. So what is the name of your God? Is La. So now your God now is clear, and this Quran. Don't tell me Quran is wrong. Quran, you cannot take you cannot take letters out of the name because names they are names. We cannot change them. We cannot take letters from them. The second we take letters, it means those letters are addition. This is why in the chapter one verse number two, when it says Alhamdulillah, the A L is taken off. Li in Arabic, and you know very well, mean two. So Alhamdu, thanks, Li Lah. That means your God name is Lah. Now, you gave me a definition, nobody heard of it and have nothing to do with the truth. And I'm asking you again and again, who is Lah? Uh, look, my friend, you have a mystic. You, why? Uh, and this uh, this is not a tarif in Allah, but it is just the letter uh, and similar with a tarif such as uh, S in uh, word English, such as Jama, Yani Kun Jama, like Nahalisat Jama, and Huna Tatashaba, a tarif, Ma Allah, like Nahalisat a tarif Huna, Allah, let up that be a tarif. Thank you. So, so why we take it off? Why we take it off? Thank you. This is what I'm saying. Actually, I am not saying it is a tarif. I am saying that al is a word in the ancient Aramaic and the ancient Hebrew, mean God. God. Al is not a tarif. Is not. It's not equal to the in English. So al yes. is a word mean God. Thank you very much. So al la God la. So your God name is. La and the al be, be, before it mean God. So now God la, who is the one who name it la? You said you do not know. If anyone go right now and search in any website, he will find that in two minutes in Google that la is the name of the moon god. No, no. Why the la is the moon god? Yes, hey, this, is, this is the, this is the truth. You can search right now, Doctor Rohi. You have a PhD. Can you? Can you uh, prove this in the Lah is the moon god? Yeah, sure, it is very easy. Here we go. It will take me two seconds. Here we go. Here we go. 
my friend. My, Even no, if no, no, hold on, hold on. Uh, you know, hold on. Yes. See, yes. Uh, people they have a uh, like uh, like uh, the the Christian they say uh, th there's many names you know use, but there's words is equal to God. So there's Yah, there's Yah, and there's Yah, and there's Al, which means God, and there's La, and there is etc. All of them is equal to one, one thing. Either you mean God when you say Al, or you mean uh, 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 the name of the Moon God. Here we go. I just you know it took me two second. La, La is what? La is the Moon God. The lunar God as simple as that Anyone can go and make a search in two seconds and he will say he will see the answer It's not like a, it's not like something mysterious the Google there full of websites You can search right now search for the moon God. What is the moon God? You will see the name of the moon God is la It's not a secret So now uh, now now look look dr. Rahi we have yes. we have a clear proof that lah mean the the moon god and we prove from chapter 1 verse number 2 that this is the name of your god li la okay now still this is will not give me even who is your god because even this is not my question let us say for the sake of argument it happened that the name of the god of the muslims is so the same as the moon god but it is not okay we will let it go but who is this god still we do not know oh what you are saying to me that we as Muslims will worship a God, his name is Lah, and this is the same name of the moon God, and all religion is based on the moon. We fast by the moon, we we, we break fasting by the moon, we celebrate by the moon, we everything in Islam based on the moon. Yet they are not people who worship the moon God. You will say to me, the Quran says, Don't worship the moon. Yes, we are not talking about worshiping the moon. The moon God is not the moon. There's a there's a God who is the God of the moon. If you remember, Dr. Rohi, do you remember the story where, where your prophet, he said to his cousin, where his cousin, he said, uh, I, I don't believe in the Lord of the, of, of, uh, of a Najm? Kafartu bi Rabbi Najm? In the chapter of a Najm? Who said that? The cousin of Muhammad, the one who was uh, uh, married to his daughter. He said uh, to him, so Najm. Do you remember what's where the relation? Okay. Who is the Lord of the Najm? Who is the God of the star? Look, my friend, I answer you about the God, the moon, the moon God. Even if there is a worship of the moon in the Arabia, what's the matter of Islam in this I'm worship? I'm, I'm, coming, I'm coming with my I'm, I'm coming with my Islam? proofs. My friend, I'm coming with my proofs. I'm asking you. Okay. This is why I'm okay. asking about this. Let, what, let what, me, what the cousin me. of Muhammad, what what the, what Muhammad he said to the his cousin when he said, I refuse to worship the moon, the, 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 the god of the stars. Why Muhammad is asking him to worship the god of the stars? In the chapter of an najm what's the relationship with the cousin of muhammad in the it's islam the cousin of muhammad yeah. is not the topic the cousin of muhammad i'm just mentioning to you a topic and like a, 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 a story in the quran i'm not talking about 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 the, the, this is what is mentioned in the interpretation okay. for the quran. cousin cousin of muhammad is disbeliever he worshiped two idols Ma no but, problem uh, no we... problem no problem but why muhammad is asking him to worship the the, the god of the star look my friend islam is a clear re religion calling for the worship of one god the he is the Holy god Quran of the star said, he is the said, god of the star uh, yes 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 okay. uh, listen to me please the Holy Quran said in chapter 41 37 don't prostrate to the Sun or to the moon but prostrate to Allah who created them see I am uh, the one who told you that I am the one who told you the Quran now, says don't prostrate now, to the moon but we don't but, listen, but, but listen, worshiping, listen uh, please, Dr. Rahi, worshiping the God of the moon is not worshiping the moon you are not answering I you know I'm a person who worship the God of the moon he don't worship the moon so don't pr look, don't look. prostrate to the moon prostrate to the god of the moon yes the god Thank of the moon who the is god the god of the, the moon the... who is the moon who, who is the god of the moon allah the correct? god of the all worlds who created no, 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 the no, no, worlds no 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 okay the quran says 
okay, can you go with me to the chapter of an Najm, verse number one? والنجم إذا هوى والنجم إذا هوى ما ضل صاحبكم وما غوى. The cousin of Muhammad he said to him. The cousin of Muhammad said to him. قال عتبة ابن أبي لهب كفرت برب النجم عتبة the son of Abi Lahab he said I am a kafir in the Lord of the Star. The Prophet of Allah he said to him. Aren't you afraid that the dog of Allah will eat you? أما تخاف أن يأكلك قلب الله؟ Okay. Why Muhammad saying that the, the Lord of the Star he have a dog and he will eat you if you don't believe in him? Uh, I don't know what is the heaven and the cousin of Muhammad and the son. It doesn't cousin matter what happened, my, my friend. But it doesn't matter. Your prophet is taking old legion that there is the God of the Moon, the God of the Stars. He have dogs. And if anyone who don't worship him, they will send his dog to eat him. As you see, this is your prophet talking. This is not me. This is not you. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أما تخاف أن يأكلك قلب الله؟ قال فخرج في تجارة إلى اليمن فبينما هم قد عرسوا إذا سمعوا سمع سمعوا it's a true story. So your prophet confirming again that he worshiped the moon god and the god of the stars. And he is forcing people, scaring people to worship that God. I mean, God is not the God of a star, it's the God of the whole world. So why Muhammad is upset from the guy who said to him, Kafar to be Rabbi Najm? Let me set this uh, hadith and uh, insert this hadith, please. All right. Kafar to Rabbi Najm. Uh, <coughs> in, uh, in the chapter of Najm, Kafar to Barab al Najm, on Utba al. في الوالد أنه عن عتبة ابن أبي لهب حين قال إني كفرت برب النجم إذا هوى فقال النبي اللهم صلّت عليه كلبك فأخذه الأسد في طريق الشام. I don't know what is the problem with this you if the problem your prophet is teaching the same as those who worship gods who they are gods of the stars they have dogs they have animals. And if you don't worship them, they will send their animals to eat you. So it's not a coincidence that it's happened that your God, his name is Lah, which is the moon God. Your God have a dog. I mean, why God have a dog? Can you tell me, Dr. Dr. Rohi? Was your prophet exaggerating and lying about God having a dog or he mean it? Rabb uh, al-Najm, Allah, Rabb al-Akwan, Rabb al-Alameen. It is the Rabb uh, al-Alameen, Lord of the world, Lord of the universe, okay, Lord I mean, of all beings. Rahi, wake up, Madhi, wake up with me. Listen, Allah is your God. His name is Lah. He, you said he is not the moon God. No problem. Why if a person, he says, I am a kafir in the Lord of the star, Muhammad, he get upset and he says to him, aren't you afraid that Allah will send you his dog to eat you? What that have to do with any true belief and any true prophet? Do you really believe that if I don't believe in Allah, Allah will send his dog to eat me? And why he is not sending his dogs to eat me? And why he have a dog? Is that because he is the moon god and the moon god have a dog? No, no, not the moon god. So who is this god uh... who have a dog? Explain to us who is this god who have a dog? I thought dogs in Islam are dirty. They are nudges. No, no, no. Uh, dog is meaning of the lion, not mean dog. Ah, it so is, your prophet, uh, he said dog, he mean lion? I mean, how, how come? Come on, Dr. Rohi. When I say dog, I mean dog. The dog is a dog. He, he can say, don't, Muhammad did not say, aren't you afraid the lion will eat you? He did not say that. He said, aren't you afraid the dog of Allah will eat you? And let us go with you. Why Allah have a lion? Allah will send his lion to eat me? 
Yes, uh, all the creation it is belong to Allah. Lions, no problem, dogs, no problem. All, but, all but, but what? How Muhammad he knew that Allah have a dog in heaven? Where did he get this information in this, from? In this uh, look, look, I read from the the tafsir. Hmm. What's it? قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم صلط عليه كلبك فأخذه الأسد في طريق الشام كل التفسير كذا فأخذه الأسد في طريق الشام. Okay. If the, the lion took him in the way of the. So your Shem. prophet he prayed for Allah dog to eat him. He, he prayed to Allah to send his dog to eat him, but a, but a lion he ate him. That's mean the prophet prayer did not work. Look what he said. Yes, you are the one who said that. You said your prophet. He said he prayed to Allah to send his dog to eat him. Question: First of all, how Muhammad he knew that Allah have a dog? How he knew that he Allah is a God who have dogs and he can send them to eat people? And secondly, the guy was not eaten by a dog. He was eaten by a lion, according to the story. So the prayer of your prophet did not work because he did not say Allah sent him a, a lion to eat him. He said send him a dog to eat him. All creatures belong. Creation belongs to Allah. Creation. My friend. Okay, okay, okay. You see, you're right. You are not listening. Okay, let us go back to zero. Who is Allah? Don't give me name now. Forget about the name. Obviously, the name you, you just admitted that Allah is a word means something, worshiping something. So the name will lead us to nothing. And you said the first one who used that name, nobody knows who is he. Thank you very much. Now, who is Allah? Allah is Lord of the worlds. But this is not Lord an answer. Of... Anyone, all those who have religion, they believe their God is the Lord of the world. Who is Allah? Do you know who is Allah? You do not know. So you are making us a giving us a definition that he is the Lord of the world, but there's no proof that he is. And do you know that he, how you know he is the Lord of the world? Because he said, I am the Lord of the world. How you know he said? How you know he said? Muhammad he never... In the first chapter in Quran, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Well, thank you very much. The first chapter in the Quran proved that Allah cannot be Lord because how Allah, he say thanks to Allah. Yes, the one of the greatest attribute of the Quran than other books that he focus on Rabbul Alameen, Lord friend, of friend, the all being. Dr. Rohi, if, if you are talking, you may, are making a speech. Let us say I invited you to our church and you say, starting, introducing yourself, you say, uh, first of all, I want to thank Dr. Rohi for coming, but you are Dr. Rohi. So how Allah, he says, in the name of Allah, the most gracious, most merciful, when he is Allah, in the name of Allah. You see, I say in the name of the president or the king or the name of God, for I am not God. That's why I say in the name of the God. But Allah himself, he say in the name of Allah. Obviously, he is not. The one is talking here. He cannot be Allah. This is the author of the Quran fabricating stories, speaking as he is, speaking in the name of God, but he forgot to switch the personality. So, in the name of Allah, the most gracious, praise be to Allah. Allah saying praise be to Allah. And then he says, Allah, most gracious, most merciful. He just said that already here. Why he's repeating himself. And then he says, show us the straight way. Allah is saying, show us the straight way. How Allah he say that? This is obviously a prayer made by Muhammad, put it in the Quran, and you Muslims took it and you claim that this is coming from Allah. But until now, you do not tell me who is Allah. Oh, what you are saying to me, he is the Lord of the world, but nobody knows who is this guy. Did your prophet spoke to Allah? Did he speak to Allah? No. Did he see Allah? No. He Have you he ever heard his voice? No. So where this is all coming from? There's no proof that, guy, that the man who gave you the message, he never heard Allah, he never saw Allah, he never witnessed to Allah. So how we will know that there is a God, his name is Allah. And when I asked you what Allah is, you said to me, there's an Arab guy, exists long time be before, and he said, worship something. And that is Allah. This is what Allah is for you. Worship something. Thank you. So you Muslim worship something. Nice to meet you. So who is Allah? Nothing. You All what we get from you, Dr. Rohi, with my respect to you, that you Muslim do not know who is Allah. No, no, uh, 
Allah is uh, sent a book to us and uh, he uh, proved that he is uh, how he sent proved? a book. How he proved? How he proved? By the saying that, by saying that, uh, said, by saying that uh, man have a sperm coming from the backbone? Is that a proof? By saying that the sperm coming from the ribs of the women, have you ever heard of a woman have 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 uh, have a sperm, and the sperm coming from her ribs? Yes, it is. Uh, what do you mean, yes? Uh, what yes? Women have women have a sperm. Yes. What, where do you get it from? What do you get from that women they have a sperm and their sperm is coming from their ribs? Uh, look. Uh, now Allah uh, said uh, خلق خلق Then Allah said What's this mean? Okay mm -hmm. So uh, I translate this uh, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. This verse mm -hmm. This let man observe Hello ejected uh, emerging from between the backbone and the ribs right indeed Allah is uh, to return him to life uh, is able mm. the day when uh, secrets will be put on trail mm. then man will have no power or any helper mm. uh, this is uh, now look at this uh, first uh, you are said that the uh, semen uh, coming from backbone and the ribs, mm. but coming from uh, uh, testes. Right. So it is a mistake. It is a mistake. Uh, the first, not talking about the semen, but talking about the human, because the speech from the first was about the beginning of the human creation. The end of this world, uh, this world, uh, then re return to uh, the return the man. You are reading the interpretation of who, Doctor Rahi. When we speak about something, please give me a reference. All the reference speak that the the gushing fluid is the sperm of the man and the sperm of the woman. Do you agree or no? All the interpretation says that. No, no. Okay, uh, give me the interpretation uh, you are reading. Yahud, uh, yahud, يخرج من بين الصلب والترائب إلى الإنسان ولا يعود إلى الماء الدافق. Who is the one agree with you, my friend? Who is the who is the interpretation you are reading for me from? Is that Ibn Kathir? Is that Al Qurtubi? Is that Al Jalalain? I have them all in front of me, and they are saying the opposite from what you are saying. The ماء الدافق it's a gushing fluid, and we can explain it from the Hadith. Do you want me to show you that your prophet he explained that verse? Yes, so the verb, uh, uh, the verb coming from uh, ascribe to the man and the don't ascribe to the semen. Why? Uh, so what is the mean of coming from between the backbone and the ribs? Uh, the mean of the first in Holy Quran, يَخْرُجُ مِنْ بَيْنُ الصُّلْبِ وَالتَّرَائِبِ emerging from between the backbone and the ribs is long uh, emigration hmm. uh, beginning my, my friend, my when friend, let us let us make it short let us make it short give me one interpretation agree with you ibn abbas said that okay ibn let, abbas here we go that. let us go to ibn abbas my friend let us go to ibn abbas here we go it's in the front of us no problem it issued between the between the lions of the man and the ribs of the women. What is that? Let us go to verse number six. Ibn Abbas is in front of me. Hmm? Allah then explained, saying, He is created from gushing fluid into the womb of the women. Here we go. This is Ibn Abbas, your choice. So it's a gushing fluid go inside the womb of the women. What is the gushing fluid coming from the man going inside the womb of the women? You said something to me different from what it says in front of me. You said totally different story. You said it's not about sperm. And obviously it's about sperm. It's about a gushing fluid. It's not just a normal fluid. It's a gushing fluid. And obviously this is a when a man have orgasm. So it's a gushing fluid. Go into the womb of the women. And then in verse number seven, confirm that women have a fluid too. And that fluid is coming from her ribs. 
So this is Ibn Abbas, your choice, proving you wrong. What you say? Now I open the tafsir. Uh, the tafsir in front of me, in the screen. People, they can read it in English too. And this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. Uh, آه هنا يقول في تفسير النكت والعيون يخرج من بين الصلب والترائب فيه قولان أحدهما من بين الصلب والترائب من بين صلب الرجل وترائبه من بين صلب الرجل وترائبه قاله الحسن وقتاده هذا هو القول the backbone of the man and the ribs of the man, correct? Yes. Okay. What is the gushing fluid come from between the backbone and the ribs of the man? What kind of God he says that the sperm of the man is coming from the backbone between the backbone and the ribs of the man? According to you, this is what you said. This is this is the opinion of Qutada. Okay, we went with the opinion of Qutada, but this is horrible. What kind of God he says such a thing? What the sperm of the man have to do with the ribs of the man? Uh, look, uh, I said the <coughs> semen not coming from backbone and the ribs, but coming from testis. Okay, where it says uh, that? Where it says that? The Quran says the opposite, my friend. It says, Let us analyze the words. What is a sulb? Is the backbone sulb, uh, a sulb? Is the backbone. Yes, a sulb is the shoulder or backbone. All right, so a sulb. Let us get conclusion now. A sulb here is the backbone. A taraib is the ribs of the woman. Is that correct? Now I said to in Arabic. Then I translate the the first. Okay, the chapter. Okay. The hadith, the ayat, the sabiq on beginning of the creation of man, then the return of him to life. The damir for him. عندما قال فما له من قوة ولا ناصر لا يستقيم إذا أرجعناه إلى الماء الدافق إنما إلى الإنسان كلمة على رجعه إن إنه على رجعه لقادر تعود إلى الإنسان الإرجاع يعني يعود الإنسان إلى حيا للحساب لأن الله يقول يوم تبلى السرائر فما له من قوة ولا ناصر إذا الآيات فلينظر الإنسان مما خلق خلق من ماء دافق يخرج من بين الصلب والترائب لا تعود على الـ على الـ على المني لأنه قال بعدها إنه على على رجعه that the women have a gushing fluid too. When a woman, her name, Ummu Salim, hmm, uh, uh, she came to Muhammad and said to him that she saw a wet dream. She was horny at night and she have orgasm. And she came to the Prophet and she said to him, should I wash? I saw a wet dream. The wife of Muhammad, Ummu Salama, uh, 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 sorry, Zainab. She said to Muhammad, uh, uh, "Do uh, do women have uh, uh, sorry sorry Umm Salama?" She said, "Do do women have uh, uh, sperm the discharge?" He said, "Yes. Otherwise, how the baby resemble the mother?" So your prophet claim. That women they have a sexual fluid, and because of that, the baby resembled the mother. So you are saying to me, you have God, and the God He proved Himself in the Quran, and Muhammad is the proof, and whatever Muhammad He say is a true. And here we go, Muhammad He claim that there is a sexual flu fluid coming out of the women, and this is is the discharge of the women, and because of this discharge, the baby resembled the mother. Is that accurate, my friend? Uh, <coughs> do you want to read? Now, for, uh, do you want to read for you the hadith in Arabic so you can uh, get it better? قالت يا رسول الله إن الله لا يستحي في من الحق هل على المرأة غسل إذا احتلمت قال نعم إذا رأت الماء 
فضحكت أم سلمة فقالت أتحترم المرأة فقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم فبما شبه الولد So your prophet confirmed what is written in the Quran that women they have sexual fluid it is gashing out discharge and even Muhammad in different hadith he described it as yellow and thin and the water of the man as thick and white so why are you going around in a circle saying the Quran doesn't say that when your prophet he confirmed that are you saying your prophet getting getting the information wrong and he's wrong I don't know if this uh, hadith is correct or My not. My friend, this is Sahih Bukhari and this is Sahih Hadith. Dr. Rohi, yes, but Dr. Rohi, be careful. You have a, you are a person who have a PhD. Last time you said to me this hadith is weak. You went two, two weeks after you came back and you said to me it was correct. Correct? You remember? And you but, know, uh, I will not say I will not say to you it is correct unless it's correct, and you know that. I am speaking to someone educated, he have a PhD in Islam, and not to a kid in the street. So this is Sahih Bukhari, hadith number 6091. And I can give you tons of hadith the same, and all of them are correct. So now, was Muhammad wrong? No, no, not wrong. Okay. What, but I said, what's the real meaning of this hadith? Not uh, The meaning is so very... clear. The meaning is so clear. Muhammad is saying, why women, why women, how, how the baby resemble the, 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 the mother? Because simply the women she have orgasm and that is the water coming out of her vagina as simple as that So do we need really uh, like a, a scholar to enter to give interpretation for this? Anyway, we can go to the scholars We can go right now to any scholars in any you know a, a, a We can go to Al-Qurtubi, Al-Tabari, Al-Jalalain, whatever you want all of them agree That this is the case In the ancient time, there is uh, no science and no how the baby come. Uh, it is uh, so as Muhammad, we see. And so you are saying Muhammad because he he was ignorant. He do not know. No, no. No, look now when uh, I said now when the the Bible said now uh, look at the stage of uh, fetal creation in the, مثلا, uh, Bible in Job. Hast thou not bowed me out as milk and uh, curdled me like a cheese? What does thou last uh, clothed me have to do with, with the the skin and the flesh and yeah. hast yeah. And, you, and, you, me and your prophet, he copied that. And your prophet, he copied that. He put it in the Quran. But because he is copying, he is not the original author. He no. make it, he make it messed up. And this has nothing to do with the, our topic. Here you will see that your no. prophet, he is speaking no. about women have gushing fluid. The interpretation in front of me. It says it clearly no, look, that women listen, have gushing listen, fluid. My, okay, let me ask you. Friend. When Muhammad, he said here that this woman, she have a sexual discharge. And he said, this is why the baby resembled the mother. Muhammad is saying that based on what? Uh, please listen to me. Now, as the the first in Bible, the first in Bible, ألم تصبني كاللبن وخثرتني كالجبن كسوتني جلدا ولحمتني بأقمن. My friend, what does have to do with the ribs of the women and the backbone of the man? Does it say there that God He made us from backbone? Please, please, my friend, listen to me. You are taking me out of the topic. We can talk about this after we finish. No, 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 no. There is a there is a mistake in that verse. Why you are mentioning that verse to me? There is no mistake there. We are talking about something different, Doctor Rohi. I want an answer. Why in the world your God and your prophet both they think women they have gushing fluid and that fluid make the baby look like them and that gushing fluid is coming from the ribs. I have all the interpretation in front of me. All of them they consist and they say that the ribs of the women at Taraib is the ribs of the women. The uh, first the chapter of Quran in Surah At-Tarab is a clear that uh, he ماذا يقول فلينظر الإنسان مما خلق من ماء دافق يخرج من بين الصلب والتراب نات سمن نات ماء دافق إنه على رجعه لقادر يوم تبل السرائر إنه الإنسان so I translate let man observe from what he was created he was created from a fluid ejected emerging from between the backbone and the ribs Indeed, Allah is to return him to life is able. Mm. 
So the day when uh, secrets will be okay. bought on. So you just say that your God, he said, you repeat the same thing, that you are created from ejected fluid, ejected, ejected from where to where, Mr. Roy? Ejected from where? Yeah, uh, from where to where? Ejected because ejected mean it's a gaussian fluid. It's a fluid is motion is is, is in a, in a motion. It's moving non non stop. So it's a gaussian fluid, which means it's moving fast from point A to point B. Where this gaussian fluid moving from? Where to where? The first is talking about man, not talking about uh, cement. The first. Not talking about the cement, talking about the human. Who agree, because the who speech agree with from you? the who first was no, about. No, no, my friend, the, it's a, a, the human, yes, it's about the human, but the human is a created from Gaussian fluid, ejected. You are the one who said that a second ago. Look at the man, look, why the man don't look how he was a created. He was a created from Gaussian fluid. From what? Gaussian fluid, ejected. Okay, what is the Gaussian fluid ejected, which is the man created with? Tell me. I'm listening. Uh, I know I see you look at the first uh, carefully look at the first carefully it is it uh, talking about the human not talking about the the field with uh, my friend for sure is talking the about the human the human how he was created created from gushing fluid what is the gushing fluid explain to us what is the gushing fluid uh, no, no, what is the gaussian no. fluid? Before, yeah. Don't go to let us take it one by one because obviously it doesn't matter how, how high the person I'm speaking to with education, still I have to do the same procedure always. We have to move step by step slowly. What is the gaussian fluid we are talking about? It's fluid and it's gaussian. What is that gaussian fluid? Okay, look, uh, I will uh, make her start now and uh, return, please. Uh, All wait right. me, please. No problem. Thank you. Okay. Care. okay. <laughs> yeah right yeah you see it doesn't matter you speak to a kid you speak to an adult is the same it's the same you speak to a person have a phd or a person of high school is the same they will not say they will not they will not answer they will not give an answer so who is allah we, we learned today from somebody have a phd that or allah is something i mean thank you very much And each time we go in a hot position, either he say he have to go back, he have to go to sleep, I will contact you next week, or I have to restart. Now what he will do, he will go and research in Google, see what he can do. Who's next? Who's next? And I mean, by the way, speaking to Muslims is very frustrating because you know that they are playing games. He knew, I knew. It's it's a game. It's like it's not. We are not debating. Honest to God, we are not debating. There is no debate in this debate. It is a game. How I can cover up? This is what the, what this what what he is doing. How I can cover up the problem? The question is even not about this. We are trying to find out who is Allah. They do not know who is Allah. Allah, He said He is the Lord of the world. Oh, this is what it says in the Lord, the, the, the Lord of the Ring too. How I can follow a God? I have no idea who is he. I hope the Torah he will call me back again. Let us hope. He will contact some of his sheikh in Al Azhar University. He says, what you will say to this guy now? My voice is broken. 
Is my voice is good? Do we have any Muslim? As you see in the front of you, Muhammad he described that the water of the women is thin. Muhammad is expert. Muhammad is expert in sex. What I can say, I mean, this guy he slept with a lot of women. The messenger of Allah said, "The man water is thick." And white and the women water is a thin and yellow he by the way women why you have a water it is yellow I mean can't you use filter obviously it's not a clean <laughs> what a joke this is a prophet of God teaching people that you have a water it is yellow and th yellow and thin hey women you have water it is yellow and thin uh -huh. and the man your water is white and thick I mean, this is education. And to explain to us what? To explain to us that whichever of them comes first, the child will resemble the parents. I see, I'm going to convert to Islam. Now this is science. And this guy playing all this game to me to say to me, oh, the gushing fluid does not mean the sperm. And now, by this is a prophet, we know how each one of you, what happened in the bedroom of his mother. If you are a boy, well, obviously it was your father who have orgasm first. Sorry to tell you, this is what happened. We know it now. This is what happened between my mother and my father. Obviously my father, he have orgasm first to the baby webs of the boy. If your mother have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. This is very scientific. And this here we go. We prove that Muhammad is obviously is the best prophet and he is Dr. Muhammad. And now we knew why Muslim they worship a God. His name is something. I mean, did you hear him saying we worship a God? His name worship something. Did you hear it? Their God, Allah mean, worship something? What is that? And this is why I don't like to have a Muslim guest in my show because uh, I'm afraid most of you will convert to Islam after you hear the science and the knowledge and how convincing they are. You see? They are so convincing when they speak to somebody who speak no Arabic. He have no knowledge. He do not know what he's talking about. If you have all those requirements, the Muslims will be so happy to jump on you, not to debate you. They will jump. They will challenge you to debate. Look, look, go YouTube right now. See how many Muslims challenging everybody there, but nobody is challenging me. And the poor me, I stay here for five hours, six hours. Let us call Dr. Rohi again. Maybe he's back. Hello? 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 Uh, doctor, I hear nothing. Are you there? Dr. Rahi, are you there? I don't know, he answered, but he is not answering. Do you, do you hear me, Dr. Rahi? Yeah. All right. So, Dr. Rahi, what is the conclusion now? When you're a prophet, he said that the gushing fluid, this is the water of the women. Do you agree with him or you don't agree with him? Hello? Hello, do you hear me? Yes, do I you do. hear I me do. now? I do, I do. So do you agree with your prophet yeah, when okay. he said that the women, when she have orgasm, the baby will resemble her? And this is the gushing fluid of the women, which is coming from the ribs. Do you agree with him or not? 
I don't know the uh, t uh, the true meaning of this hadith My friend, because uh, uh, not really uh, as, okay. as Quran. Uh, uh, Doctor Rahi, do you know the hadith where it says in Arabic? I will read it for you in Arabic, so I don't uh, say I did not get it. أخبرنا إسحاق بن إبراهيم قال أنبأنا عبد عبد حدثنا سعيد عن قتادة عن أنس قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ماء الرجل غليظ أبيض وماء المرأة رقيق أصفر فأيهما سبق كان الشبه Are you aware of this hadith? Yes, it is uh, speak about the semen of the man. Uh, so this is about the semen. Thank you very much. So this is about the semen. Okay. But do you agree semen and that if the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl? Yes. Yes. What is the... What is the, the problem? problem? The problem women this. have no semen. Uh, the problem uh, the women have uh, why don't why do uh, my friend your your prophet he did not say women she have an egg he said women she have a thin yellow water and the egg of the woman talking about the the discharge the charge come out this is not internal this is outside so he's talking about the water will show up out in her vagina this is thin and yellow this is not the egg so don't mix things up so here he's talking about whoever comes first, the baby will be the same as the parents. And you agree with that. You said there's no problem with this. So what is the water which is ejaculated of the man is white, thick sperm. What is the water ejaculated of the women? It is yellow and thin. And whoever comes first, the baby will resemble the father or the parents. And you said you agree with this. But anyone who is listening, he knew that this is false, absolutely false. If the baby is born, when the baby is born, have nothing to do with the who or, who have orgasm first. Especially, we are talking about the gender. Your prophet saying here that whoever comes first, the, the gender will resemble him. This is absolutely false. What do you say? I have a problem in uh, my computer. So, so. Dr. Rahi, the problem is not you in your computer. The, pro the problem is in Hadith. The problem is in the Quran. It's not in the computer. <laughs> Come on. You are trying to no. make excuse. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. It's okay. I understand. You are not the first one who make excuse to go. My friend, that problem is here. Stop saying I need to restart. I have a problem. I know what is the problem. The problem, you do not know what to say. What kind of a prophet mm -hmm. he speak? He claimed that he is speaking in the name of God, yet he said that whoever have orgasm first, the baby will resemble the parents. And I'm so I'm, I'm so upset from my father, by the way. And look, because my father have orgasm first, I look like him. I look scary. I wish my mother she was she have orgasm first. What what kind of knowledge this knowledge is? Now we talk about the first of the Quran, Yahrujuman Bain Sulba Taraib. Then later we talk about this. We are hadith. talking about I it. Know. We did not get out. We are not getting out. We are showing you what your prophet explained that how the baby is created, the baby created by a, a fluid of the women and the fluid of the man. When your prophet he said, Whoever come first, come first what? Come with the fluid. What is the fluid? He described the fluid. He said the, it, the, the man fluid is thick and white and the women fluid is thin and yellow. So we are in the same verse, the same topic. Uh, let me explain this, uh, please. Then we discuss uh, this hadith. No problem. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, now, uh, يخرج من بين الصلب والترائب. What's this mean? Emerging from between the backbone and the ribs. It is mean that long immigration beginning when the gentle seals appearance in the male and the female from the beginning of backbone and the beginning of ribs. Okay. Then ovary migrates to the pelvis beside the womb. And the testis migrates uh, to the uh, scrotum at the at the mo uh, mm. the moment the human turns into sperm and mm. uh, migrates uh, to ovum after 
Are you claiming that you have a knowledge more than other scholars? No, even Kathir not uh, study in a uh, university and uh, so study what, what, does that mean? what does that mean? You are how you can how you come to the conclusion that this is what the Quran meant. I mean, you need to give me a scholar. You you learned and I learned. You see, I I I, uh, I am not a person of a PhD like you in Islam, but I studied in Islamic school. I studied. I have I have my degree in Islamic law. And I know how it works. You cannot mention something without mentioning a scholar. You have to prove it with a proved scholar. This is Ibn Kathir, and he speak that this is about the sperm. It's not up to you. All the scholars, they agree that this is about the sperm. So when you say to me, this is not about the sperm, you have to prove it. Read with me carefully. This is what Ibn Kathir says. He is created from water gushing forth, meaning the sexual fluid that comes out breasting. Fourth from the man and the women. Do you see it? This is Kathir. I'll read for you in Arabic. I'm showing it to the people in English. It says, يقول ابن كثير في تفسيره ثم خلقنا النطفة علقة إن الله صير النطفة وهي الماء الدافق الذي يخلق من صلب الرجل وهو ظهره وترائب المرأة وهي عظام صدرها وما بين الطرق وإلى السرة. Do you see it? So all the scholars agree that your prophet he meant by that a sexual fluid of the women and a sexual fluid of the man. And whoever come first, as your prophet said in the hadith, he is going to decide the gender of the baby. And this is a sahih hadith, as you see, everybody can see in the screen. It says that this is sahih hadith. The messenger of Allah said, the man water is thick and yellow and the water and sorry and, and white. And the woman water is thin and yellow. Whichever of them comes first, the child will resemble the parents. So now we have interpretation. Agree with the hadith. Agree with the Quran. Quran agree with the hadith. It, the, the picture is perfect. How that can be God? Uh, Ibn Kathir, not a holy man. Gee, the justice scholar my friend, speak by my friend, this uh, all silence the names you that to known in all his the names time. you mentioned to me they are not holy name meant too but obviously you cho you choose your cherry when you want Ibn Kathir is good when you want you don't he's not good okay choose for me a person you like which interpretation you like me to read for you which is going to show you that you are wrong again can you choose for me which interpretation uh, is it is a Jalalain is good? No, for no, you? not not a Jalalain. The oh. Quran. We must study the Quran. Uh, in, so, uh, so let us make it simple. According you don't want me, to the science of this want, time, you don't ah. So you don't want any Islamic scholar to explain the Quran because obviously their explanation will prove Islam to be wrong. So we now we need to manipulate the Quran today and change the interpretation which is taught for centuries by muslims yes and today we need to update it and change it so you are saying to me the interpretation of the quran is a changeable because we discovered that this is wrong so it was okay to believe this is what so what about muhammad saying that are you going to say we should say to muhammad you are wrong when muhammad is said no the, if the man have orgasm first and the women have or, or, uh, or the women have orgasm first the baby will resemble the parents was he wrong I, the Quran not uh, said this. The Quran not said this. But I don't this uh, hadith, uh, the meaning, uh, the true meaning of this hadith, but Quran not say. What Quran, do you mean the Quran not say? Uh, what do you mean the Quran doesn't say that? No, the Quran said that. The Quran mentioned that the man is created from a sperm. Do you want to show you the verse? Yes, the man created from a sperm. What, Thank you very uh, much. Thank you very much. So he is a created from a sperm, and this is what he's talking about. This is why it says, Dafiq. Dafiq is a gashing fluid. It's a gashing fluid moving so fast. There's nothing have to do with the baby is gashing fast except the sperm. What is gashing fast? 
ejaculated coming out what is that Uh, let me speak in Arabic, then I translate the, this. Uh, but let us, before this. you go, before you go, uh, uh, Dr. Rohi, you agree with me that all Muslim scholars agree with me that this is, according to Islamic scholars, it's meant the sperm of the woman coming from her ribs and the sperm of the man coming from his backbone. But you come in with a new idea that because today we discover that this is a stupid, so now we need to change the interpretation of the Quran. No, no. Then you have uh, to give me one scholar sure. agree with you. Don't tell me no, no, no. I showed you Ibn Kathir. I can show you Al-Qurtubi. I can show you Al-Tabari. I can show you al the, the, Yes, the first said what the first said. Min bayn al-sulbi wa taraib Lam taqul min al-sulbi wa taraib Kalimat min My friend, al-sulb uh, is the sulb of the man, at taraib and at taraib of... Go to the dictionary. You are the one who mentioned to me the dictionary, right? You can open the dictionary right away and you will see that the word taraib is not just the ribs. It is the location of the necklace of the women. Taraib is not the ribs. It is the location of the necklace of the women. So when you see there, there is the, 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 in the chest of the woman, there is a little hole in the top of her chest, and this is where the necklace will stand. That is a taraib. So this is must be about women. And this is what all your scholars are saying. A taraib is the location of the necklace of the women. We can't play with it. This is Arabic language. If you do not know Arabic very well, you can open the dictionary right now and you can read it. No, look, look uh, my friend. Al-Sulb wa-Zahir la yuqsad bil-Zahir il-Amud al-Faqari faqat. Yuqsad bihi al-Zahir bima yashtamil alayhi la'anna al-Amud al-Faqari ya'jaz. My friend, it doesn't say Zahir. It doesn't say Zahir. It says Sulb. Sulb is the backbone. Is the last bone in the chain. It's not the back. Al-Sulb. This is called a solb. Let me teach you something, my friend. A solb is called solb because simply the human being, all his bones can be burned, can be destroyed, except that little bone is very hard and will not be destroyed. This is why it's called a solb. So he is saying to you, it's coming from the between the, that location and the other location. The first location presents the man. This is why even in your culture, they say to you that, you know, I mean, I mean, I mean, from the back of his father, they mean the solb because the Quran says that. So, is coming from between this and that. If you're a scholar, they will say this is for the same body of the man, even that will be a problem because your God is saying that the sperm of the man is coming from between the ribs of the man and the backbone of the man. How oh, God can he, say that? This is what you are trying to say to me. You are trying to say to me, you know what it's meant here, that this is about that the baby is created from the ribs of the man to the backbone of the man. Not not said that. He said it is not membane. Lam taqul min asulb. Not said from the backbone. Between. It doesn't matter because, it, because, because, because it's between two bodies, two human beings. Because the man, he cannot make a baby alone, my friend. Have you ever heard of a man, he, he have sex with himself and he get a breath net? So it is between. يَخْرُجُ مِنْ بَيْنِ مِنْ بَيْنِ what? الصلب of the man and the taraib of the women. The backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. So this is why it says يَخْرُجُ مِنْ بَيْنِ Obviously, you Muslims speak Arabic, but you don't want to learn Arabic. Mimbain cannot be for the man only because the man alone cannot have babies. Yes, uh, now said to the look at the uh, in the Tafsir al Bahr al Madid. Yahrud Mimbain Sulb al Rajuli wa Tara ibihi wa Sulb al Marati wa Tara ibiha. Thank you very much. So, look, guys, finally, finally, you get me something useful now. Dr. Rohi, he said, he, he chose different interpretation, he says. It's coming from between the, the, the ribs of the man and the backbone of the man, and the ribs of the women and the backbone of the women. Okay, what comes from the ribs of the women and the backbone of the women? Gushing fluid. Is the egg of the women gushing fluid? Is it a fluid? Is the women egg a fluid? 
Women, women, they make one egg. They are not a chicken. It's one egg. It's not a fluid. Fluid is a billions of drops of liquid. This is what the fluid is. We cannot say the egg is a fluid. It is a single egg. Women don't have many eggs. They are not a fish. If somebody says to you that women are fish and they have a fluid of eggs, that is a different story. It is one egg and it is not a fluid. And you are the one who repeat the fluid over and over and over. Uh, you don't uh, understand the first the chapter. Okay, you know, Doctor Roy. The verb coming about this. from describe the man okay, and okay. don't describe the. My friend, my friend, you are saying I don't fluid. understand. You are saying I don't understand. Look like and not only me, I don't understand. Ibn Kathir don't understand. Al Qurtubi don't understand. Al Tabari don't understand. Al Jabal Al Jalalain don't understand. So all of us we don't understand, but you understand. When you say no, to me you don't understand, one. when you say to me, Dr. Rahi, when you say to me you don't understand, I want you to say to me, look like you and Ibn Kathir and Al Jalalain and Al Qurtubi and Al Tabari and all the scholars don't understand. Say that because I am not quoting to you what I understand. I'm quoting you what they are saying. Is it this what Ibn Kathir said? Are you willing? Are you willing to say, look like Ibn Kathir and a Christian prince don't understand? Say it. Why nobody? Is, uh, why nobody of the Islamic scholars accuse Ibn Kathir of fabrication for saying such a thing? The Quran does not mean. Why nobody accuse Jalalain? Why nobody accuse Ibn Abbas? You mentioned to me Ibn Abbas. I open Ibn Abbas for you. Ibn Abbas, he says the ribs of the women. So listen to me. Let us jump. Let us jump. You see, look, look like we will not reach agreement in this part. Prove to me. Still, we go back to zero. Let us go back to zero. Prove to me in any way that there is a God, his name is Allah, and who is he? Until now, you get me nothing. All what we got is proving that Islam cannot be from the true God because it's giving false information. Allah, he said about himself, I can say about myself, I can say I'm God. You can say that too. But I can say I am the creator of the world. You can say that too, but you have to prove it. What is the proof that Allah is God? There's no proof. As you see, he 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 say things that doesn't make sense. Give me one thing, your God Allah. He said it makes sense. Just one. What proof you want? Anything proof? Okay, you worship a God. You told me his name is something. We worship something. Thank you very much. So prove to me that this something you worship is exist. How Allah can prove Himself to you that He's exist? What He did, Muhammad. He have no miracles. The Arab, they keep asking him, why you don't do miracles? How come you don't have miracles? Isn't it true that when 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 the, when the Arab, they ask Muhammad for, for a miracle, Allah, he sent them, sent the, sent the verse from Muhammad saying, wait and, will, and, wait, and uh, tell them to wait and wait with them? You don't, uh, you don't read the uh, awakened and adulterous generation seek after a sign? Uh, every, my, my friend, my friend, minute. my friend, they are asking, they are asking because he don't have any, but Jesus, he keep, he keep making miracles. All the life of Jesus from the beginning to the end is a miracle. Even his birth is a miracle. Here we have a prophet. People, they keep asking him to do miracles because he have none. But uh, the... Yeah, I mean, Chapter now, 10, uh, Dr. Rohi, chapter 10, verse number 20. What it says, they say, why his Lord don't send miracles on him? They are not asking him to do miracles. They are saying, how come this, this is, he claimed to be a prophet, but yet he don't have any miracle. Why his Lord don't send a miracle to, to, to him? What he said, he said to them, wait, and I will wait with you. What kind of God he said no, that no. to them? They God, say, God why is not sign? Listen, listen, Dr. Rohi, read with me carefully. Why is not sign sent down to him from his Lord? Say, who is talking now? Allah. They and the unseen is only for Allah. <laughs> what? <laughs> to know. Then wait ye. I too, I will wait with you. Allah will wait with you. 
Who is waiting here, Muhammad or Allah? What kind of answer? Why, why Allah did not say that about Jesus? Why Jesus, he wake the man, he, 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 he resurrect people from death, he make the blind see, he walk in the water, he created from the mud a, a, a bird, he, he healed the lepers, he healed the disease, he tell you what you hide in your houses, and then the, the people are just waiting for one miracle from Muhammad. And what Allah, he said to him, wait, and I will wait with you. And we are still waiting. Uh, what Allah said in the Holy Quran about the miracle? What He said, he said in, in, his, in the chapter Al Isra uh, 59, Wa mana ana an nursila bil ayati illa an kaza babiha al awaloon. Thank you very much. Wa ataina tha wa ataina tha muda naqa ta mubsura tan fa zalamu biha wa ma nursilu bil ayati illa taqwifa. Nothing prevent us from sending miracles, <laughs> sign except that the ancient called them Thank you. lies. Dr. Rohi, I am going to hire you to be the, the, the best man for the year in, 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 in Islamic in Islamic studies. Dr. Rohi chose for us a verse from the Quran saying, Look what Allah said about America making miracles. We and we refrain from sending signs. So Allah he refrained from sending signs. Take a note. So you agree that Allah refrained from sending signs? Do you agree with Allah that he really refrain? Is Allah here telling the truth uh, or he is lying? Is Allah he telling tell the truth? Okay, so he, so so you agree that he refrained from sending signs. So how he say I refrain from sending signs when you Muslim you say the Quran itself is a is a miracle by saying I refrain from sending signs he made a miracle. The same phrase. It is saying he refrained from making miracles. He is making a miracle. How crazy that is! It's like saying I refrain from cooking when I am cooking, live on camera. It's like saying I refrain from drinking when I am drinking. It's like saying I refrain from smoking when I am smoking. So how Allah He say I refrain from making miracle when supposedly the Quran itself is a miracle. That is additional proof that the Quran is nothing and never was a miracle and it's not a miracle and the Arab always make fun of it. And now here is the other the other lie. We refrain from sending miracles. Why? Because former generation they did not believe in them. This is a lie. All the Christians believe in the miracles of Jesus. Most of the Jews converted to Christianity and they believe in the miracles of Jesus and all the prophets. So where is the ones who they are? And what does this have to do with, 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 with sending miracles? There's many people until now don't believe in Jesus, but yet he did miracles. There's many people don't believe in Moses, but yet he did miracles. Since when that God, he will strike, look like your God is a French guy in France. He have a strike every two days about going to the train station. Why? Because you don't believe in my miracle. This is not an answer of God because simply he have no miracles and he have to make an excuse why he is not making miracles people waiting for muhammad to do one so what he say oh my my god he refrained because you don't believe in it anyway well let me tell you something dr rohi i am a prophet christian prince and uh, the god who sent me to you uh if you ask me to do miracle i will say to you his refrain because the muslim don't believe in it how silly what do you say no no what i say mm -hmm. the i say there is no connection between miracles and the prophecy because the prophet is sent by God to guide the people. So, what is the connection between the no, prophecy? There is a connection. There is a connection. Uh, there is a connection. Uh, no, 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 hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sea, so. Dr. Rohi, look like your PhD is not, is not helping you. Is it Allah who listen, asks? Is listen, it, is it, is it Allah who asks the Jews? Friend, is it Allah who asks the Jews not to believe in anything unless? They the, uh, a prophet he 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 make a sacrifice and then Allah he send the fire to eat it. No. What do you mean no? Now now listen listen. At, uh, what do you mean no what, no no no? You see, when, I want you to get me busted. What do you mean no? Please listen to me. No listen. no, I'm listening. What do you so, mean no? I want you to get me busted. I want to so, know. I want to know what is the name of the teacher who who gave you PhD, because obviously. Your school, the Azhar University, have nothing to do with knowledge. الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ عَاهِدَ إِلَيْنَا أَلَّا نُؤْمِنَ لِرَسُولٍ نُؤْمِنَ لِرَسُولٍ حَتَّى يَأْتِنَا بِقُرْبَانٍ تَأْكُلُهُ النَّارِ قُلْ قَدْ جَاءَكُمْ رُسُلٌ مِنْ قَبْلِ بِالْبَيِّنَاتِ Why you are saying to me no? Chapter 3, verse number 183. They are asking him, saying to him, Allah said to us, we will never believe 
in any messenger unless he sent to us down a fire to eat a sacrifice we present to him and if he do he is a prophet do you see it what you are saying to me now they said Allah took our promise so Allah took what our promise there's a covenant between Allah and those people not to believe in any messenger unless he showed us a sacrifice consumed by the fire from heaven say there come to you messengers before me with the clear signs and even with that you ask for uh, you ask for then why you slay them if you speak the truth so here I go you said it's not required for a prophet to have a miracle but your God he made a covenant with the people saying don't believe in anyone otherwise he might be a liar unless he make a sacrifice and then I send the fire from the sky and is going to eat it and this is what happened with the children of Adam is that correct Cain and Abel do you remember yes okay uh, and this is happening again said, uh, and, this is, and this again happened with who this is again happened with who happened again with Abraham is that correct no no what do you mean no no look at didn't this allah, uh, didn't allah he sent the fire and ate the ate, ate, ate the, the, the the ram no what do you mean look no? you what, what the you? quran what do you the mean holy, no? what the holy what quran said no? what the, 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 the holy quran don't, said. Don't, don't drive me crazy when you say to me no you, you are forcing me to show everybody that you are not in the truth did allah send the fire to eat the ram which is allah himself he provided to abraham yes or no Is the Quran said this? What are you talking about? So you are saying that this is not true? Yes. Okay, hold on. Yes. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. No problem. وَفَدَيْنَاهُ بِذَبْحٍ عَظِيمٍ Chapter 37, verse 107. What happened to that ram which Allah he sent down to Abraham? Where, where, the, fire, where the, the fire? Where the fire that you said that the fire? So you have no idea about where the fire is coming from. You never heard of this before. Let, let me no, 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 read no, the let, let it Make it clear. You, you, I want you to say, I never heard of a fire came down from the sky and ate the sacrifice of Allah. I want you to say that. Say it. Yes. You never heard that before. I want to read the ayah. الذين قالوا إن الله عهد إن الله عهد إلينا ألا ألا نؤمن لرسول حتى يأتينا بقربان تأكله النار. قل قد جاءكم رسل من قبل بالبينات وبالذي قلتم فلما قتلتموهم إن كنتم صادقين لوك uh, أدس آية الذين قالوا إن الله عهد إلينا ألا نؤمن لرسول حتى يأتينا بقربان تأكله النار uh, they said this uh, now look at I want to translate it آية uh, لحظة don't worry about translation translate people they can read I have it in the screen I have yes, it in the screen uh, before they can read it. So I don't see what ah, okay. you... Well, Allah took our promise not to believe in the messenger unless he showed us a sacrifice consumed by the fire from the heaven. Say, there come to you messengers before yes, me yes. with the clear signs and even with what you ask for. Why did you slay, slay them if you speak the truth? Okay. Now, what? Uh, those are the said uh, who said surely Allah has enjoined us enjoined us to, that we that we shouldn't believe in any messenger until he brings uh, us an offering which uh, the fire uh, consumes say indeed there come to you messenger before me with the clear argument and with that which you demand uh, why then did you kill them if you are uh, truthful it is the translate shakir 
So. Uh, the translate or the Quran, uh, what he said. قل قد جاءكم رسل من قبل بالبينات وبالذي قلتم بالذي قلتم not return to قربان بالذي قلتم يعني الذي طلبتم كل ما طلبتموه كل الذي طلبوه من قبل yes yes not 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 return to قربان الذي قلتم my friend الذي قلتم الذي قلتم they are saying الذي قلتم what, قديما what, what they said no what they said here no what they said here they said it's it's we we have a covenant with god that we will not accept any prophet unless he give a sacrifice and he send the fire consumed by him from from heaven this is what they said he's not talking about something they said 10 centuries ago this is what they are asking for if you are a prophet okay don't do miracles make a sacrifice allah he made a covenant between us and him that we will not accept anyone to, to call himself a prophet because he might be a liar unless he make a sacrifice and God he send a fire to prove this is a sign from him that this is a person I choose for you to be a prophet just do it this is not a miracle you see they are even asking him a miracle they are asking him to give a sign a sign which Allah he required himself so Allah now he is agreeing that this is the sign he told him he didn't say I didn't say that to you he didn't say this is a lie I never said that or what he said yes I did that but well if this is the case what you want how come you did not believe in the previous ones and who are they, the one who did not believe in and who is the one they slay uh, look at the miracle that uh, this believer asked the prophet to bring it uh, there is uh, yeah, I mean, uh, this uh, this miracle وقالوا لن نؤمن لك حتى تفجر لنا من الأرض ينبوع أو تكون لك جنة من نخيل وعنب فتفجر الأنهار خلالها تفجيرا and they say we will not believe you until you break open okay, for the, us okay, from the so ground so let us make it simple let us make it simple why Muhammad don't have a miracles why Muhammad is a prophet of God who have no miracles uh, Muhammad uh, not uh, have a miracle because uh, now look when Moses were split the sea and uh, changed the, st the stick into snake or changed uh, his hand mm. to white color uh, it, mm. uh, and look at Jesus miracle like as a cure to the sick or ill I ask him now mm. where that miracle went now it's exist. did we you see it, it those miracle now no, hold on hold on no no, no one no, saw no, this no, miracle no 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 first of all no, first of all, no one first, no my one. friend my friend my friend my friend listen, you, listen you see it me, you, you see it you don't see it it doesn't make any different we believe that he did and there is miracles happening in the name of jesus until now but however however you admit and i admit that jesus has miracles and you admit that muhammad has no miracles the question is why muhammad don't have miracles why all the prophets if Jesus is a prophet, Moses is a prophet, Abraham is a prophet, everybody is a prophet. Why everybody have a have, have a have a miracle except your prophet? Why? What the problem? Why Allah refrain because only in the case of Muhammad? What Allah will lose if He give him a, a, like five miracles? What He will lose? He's God. Miracle of Islam will be staying and remain in the world everlasting. Miracle of Islam was the book. This miracle, friend, this anyone true, can see it. So your, prophet the said, the your prophet, he said, your prophet, he said, my friend, this creation. is not true. This is not true. This is not a miracle. This is not a miracle. A this is not miracle. Buddhism is still exist and will stay exist. Christianity is still exist. Atheism is increasing. What are you talking about? And even your prophet, he said, but the Islam gariban was of gariban. Islam start as a strange little and is going to end as a stranger little. So don't tell me it's going to stay. There's no Muslims left. What is the Muslims? There's no Muslim in this no. earth. Do you, do you, uh, Dr. Rahi, be honest with me? Do you practice Islam today? Do you practice the Sunnah? Uh, Are you a Sunni? Are you a Sunni? Yes, I am a do Sunni. Do you drink yes. camel urine? Do you drink camel urine? No, what's Why you don't say? drink what's camel you urine? Say? This is Sunnah. You're a prophet. When somebody convert to Islam, he order him to go and to drink the camel, no. the camel milk and the camel urine. Yes, I can show you the hadith. So you are not a Muslim, and you are you are not happy about what your prophet teaching, and you don't want to practice Islam. 
Your prophet used to clean his bum with three rocks. Do you do do that? No, you're no. A prophet, you're a prophet used to shower in in the, in the water, have dead dogs. Do you do that? Did your uh, did your prophet shower in Bi'r Bidah? Look, uh, please, uh, my friend. My friend, I'm asking you. To drink do you milk do you do do you do do you do what your prophet do? You don't. You are not a Muslim. A Muslim is someone who followed the Prophet by Sunnah and the Quran, and you are not going to follow any of them. It was said, Oh Allah, now, Messenger, shall we use the water of Bidah, which to perform a pollution while it is a well which menstruation rags, flesh of dogs, and, 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 and garbage thrown in it? The Prophet he said, Indeed, water is a pure, nothing make it impure. <laughs> Do you do that? Are you willing to do what your prophet did? No, you must understand, uh, my friend. As to drink milk and urine as a medicine, there is uh, a what rule medicine? saying. Where, where it says it's a medicine? No. Wait, 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 wait. Um, where your prophet he said this is a medicine? He, the prophet in the hadith, yeah. the hadith. It says he, he did it uh, as a medicine. This is as a medicine. No. Okay, yes, if I, ask you, you, you no, if I go yeah, right now, okay, okay, I will go with you. If I go right now in Egypt and you are an Egyptian, if I go to Egypt, do you Muslims sell medicine? It's called camel urine in your pharmacy. No, it is not. It is not. Why? Why you don't do that? No. You, you just said it's a medicine. Listen to me to explain and you don't uh, take me a chance to explain, to talk. Go ahead. Uh, as to drink milk and urine, uh, there is uh, a rule saying, when the work of man ends, the work of God begins. I mean, in the past, the dangerous diseases were healed by assembled things. Why? Hmm. Because God completes where the man ends. For example, this, this all birth of the virgin girls is very difficult and it is done by Cicerine birth, but in the past days the things were either because God completes where man ends. Serious uh, diseases were uh, curing by easy things. In the past there is not pharmacy to buy medicine from it. So using the urine uh, as a medicine is a known thing at all people. Oh, for example, Ibn Sina in his famous book which called al qanun for tib law in medicine mm -hmm. he said the useful urine is camel's urine and he spoke uh, a lot about urine in the, his book and uh, sure you know this book we're teaching in all europe's university mm -hmm. also hindus is it in the past was, was they're Bicina, using was urine Yes. Uh, so he was, was he was a chased and tortured. All the scholars, Muslims, are proud about them. They've been chased, chased and tortured, and they've been killed and accused to be kuffar. Do you want me to count for you no. all the names of the famous He's, ones? That, let me ask you. Did, 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 did you know somebody? Do you know somebody you are proud about? Are you are you proud about Ibn Sina? Give me a name. You are proud about. All the Muslims abroad. They are not uh, Muslims. Uh, you Muslims Sina. accused them to be kuffar. And we can show you the reference for all of them, including Ibn Khaldun, Ibn Sina, Al, -Al, 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 -Al Razi, all the names, all the names. You make a big title about them, but now, because now supposedly the, the, the West speak about them, but before you chase them, you want to kill them and you kill many of them. We don't want to play the game. We have to, let, let us focus on your prophet. I, Ibn Sina is not your prophet, it, is he? It is, no, it is you're a prophet. another topic. You're a prophet, my friend. You're a prophet. One day. A man he came to him and he said to him, My brother, his belly is hurting him. You're a prophet, he said to him, Go and tell him to drink honey. The guy he come again and he told him he is getting worse. The prophet said to him, Go and drink honey. Let me ask you a question. The story is in the front of our, our eyes. A person he came to you and he said to you, My brother, not even him, his stomach is hurting him. How in the world, Muhammad, he said to the man, drink honey. How he knew that the honey honey is a solution. 
Was that inspiration from Allah or it was that or was his, his guessing? Look, uh, we were, first we end the uh, urine camel. This is saying uh, the same. We're talking about this. No, no, we did not change. Don't worry. We, we will go back to the urine. We are talking about how Muhammad he knew that this is a medicine. So when Muhammad he said to a man, drink urine or drink honey, is that inspiration from God or this is his own guessing? I want a clear answer. Yes, uh, Prophet Muhammad didn't say to every sick go. And this is not the question, Dr. Rohi. This is not the question. That's not the question. The question is, when when your prophet he said to a person, go drink honey or go drink camel urine, is that his own guessing that this is a solution or this was inspiration from God? Yes, from a solution. Yes. From what? Inspiration. It is a it is it is a medicine uh, for sick when he uh, no, no, ordered to the man to, this to eat the honey. Doctor, to Dr. Rohi, I don't know why you are not answering. This is not the question. The question is: When Muhammad he said, "Drink honey or drink amur urine," was he told that by Allah, or it was his own idea, thinking that this will be a good solution? Is it from Allah or from him? By Allah, by Allah. Thank you very much, by Allah. guys. He just said that the one who taught Muhammad that is Allah, so that must be true. Okay, how this guy he keep coming to Muhammad and his Billy, his his brother Billy is getting more worse and more worse. And then your prophet he said to him, your brother Billy is telling a lie, and Allah told the truth. Read with me carefully. Allah has spoke the truth. And your brother balls are wrong. Have you ever heard of somebody saying that? He claimed that when he said Is to the it? guy, drink honey, Allah told the truth. So you are right. He claimed that this is inspiration from God. All right. So now the guy is getting worse. What if somebody have diabetes? Maybe have a diabetes. How Muhammad he tell the guy without even asking him where, how, what have, what happened? Right away, the guy he came to him. He says, "I have a stomach. My brother he have a stomach pain." He said to him, "Drug, drink honey." What kind of doctor the doctor is? Uh, as the honey and the honey is this uh, come in the Quran that he said the, the man, uh, to the man uh, go and drink this is uh, the honey this is in the hadith this is sahih muslim hadith number 2217 you know but it's the same and my friend like as an example in the Quran you say that your God Allah is a Lord how Allah in the Quran he makes such a mistake the Quran claim that the bees they eat the fruits is that true Uh, it is uh, as to me, it is not a true hadith. As to me, it is not why is it true? Why is it true? No, it, no, it says it's true. It's, it is true. It is true. You are just you know, sorry. I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to say a word will, will, no. will, will upset you, <clears throat> but this is true. Look with me in the Quran. It says that Allah He said to the Quran in chapter 16. If you go to chapter 16, it says. Chapter 16, verse number 69, Allah, he said to the, to the bees, go and eat from the fruits. Do the bees eat from the fruits? Okay, my friend, okay, uh, with this and another topic, uh, now I will go. No problem, but this is not another topic. I'm showing that. you that your God, Allah, yes. be God, because God, he should not say, go and eat from the fruits. I, bees don't eat from the fruits. Bees they go and they bring the nectar and and in the same verse it says that and there is a there is a, the honey is issue from their billies So your God he think that the honey of the bees is their poopoo And we are not eating their food. We are eating their poopoo. So they go and eat the fruit and they poopoo honey But the fact the honey is their food. They don't eat the fruits this is why I am mentioning all those things to you. So you failed, Dr. Rohi, sadly, to tell us who is Allah or what you said to us, he is something. Who is he? You do not know. You said he is a Lord. You cannot prove it. 
You said he told us about himself. There's no proof that he told anything about himself because obviously he said things doesn't make sense. And then he teaches wrong information. How the baby is created from the backbone and the ribs and your prophet, he explained, he says, whoever comes first, the baby will resemble the parents. And then we find him, you speak about honey and camel urine. Everybody knows that urine is an acid, it will destroy your livers. Everybody knows that honey is very useful if you use it correctly. You don't give it to everybody. What if somebody has diabetes, he will die in a week. This is not a person who is inspired. A, a person who say that God said that he ordered the bees to go and eat from the fruits and their honey is their poopoo. -poo. The honey is not the poopoo, -poo, is not is not their dirt. It is their food. Honeys is what they eat. They don't eat fruits. Thank you, Dr. Rohi, for calling. Feel free to call me anytime you wish. Thank you. We will debate uh, about this in the coming week, inshallah. No uh, thank you. Take care. Good night, friend. Friend. good night. Wish you the best. Good, good night. Good night. Okay. Oh boy. After how long we are talking? For how long we are talking now? Almost an hour and 45 minutes. Is it? Anyone get the answer what Allah is? Nothing. After all of this, what we learn? Nothing. Who is Allah? We came with zero, we left with zero. This is why it's very stupid to be a Muslim. They don't even know who's Allah. They have no idea who is he, what he is about, how he look, where he live. What he say, what he did not say. Oh, what they say to us that Muhammad he heard. What Muhammad? Where Muhammad he heard that camel urine is medicine? This is something the Arab they used to practice before Islam, and Muhammad he isn't ignorant. He just copied from them. If this is the guy who have a PhD, what about the guy who have high school? And supposedly, I am the one who don't have a PhD. Do you think, guys, I deserve to have a PhD? I wanted, actually, I wanted to study, to be honest with you, to get a PhD. But then I contacted, you know, and I found that it's very expensive. And I said to myself, it's a piece of paper. I mean, this is really stupid. I will spend all this money for a piece of paper. I'm not going to do that. And then at the same time, I... Uh, uh, you know, one of you, he introduced me to a, to a university. It's a, it's, a, it's a very good university. And then the guy who said to me he will supervisor me, so be supervisor for me in my PhD, he didn't know much. In fact, a friend, he sent him a, a video, uh, and he listened to a guy. By the way, he said to me, I was speaking to him in the phone. He said, by the way, he had the same your voice like yours. <laughs> so the guy, when I give me PhD, is listening to me. He's learning from me. He said, do you know him? I said, no, no, but maybe. <laughs> Anyway, BSD. Who is next? Who is next as a Muslim would like to call? Muslims only. Who want to tell us who is Allah and what kind of God he think that bees, they eat honey, sorry, they eat fruits and they poo-poo honey. I want to know how this happened. We are bees, we eat fruit. And we we boo honey. I mean, look at this knowledge, man. They eat fruits and they poo-poo honey. And the Lord told the bees. The Lord he told the bees to build itself in hills on trees and in habitation of men. Then to eat all produce of earth. This is not exist in the Quran, by the way. And to find this. What, 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 what. This is false translation. What? Or, 
what produce of the earth. This is why I say to you when, when you read Arabic, it's different really from what it says in English. Thumma kuli min kulli thamarat and eat from all the fruits. What the production of the earth? Thamarat. This is the chapter 16, verse number 69, the chapter of the, the bees. Uh, by the way, the Quran is like a zoo. There's a cow chapter, there's a bees chapter, a spider, elephant, I mean, you name it. And there's furniture, the chair chapter, you know, very fantastic. Any Abdul? Who is Abdul is going to call me? So we can learn a little bit about Allah. Who is Allah? Until now, we got zero answer from the Abdul, sadly. Who is Mr. Abdul? He is willing to call us. Mayday, mayday. We need the Abdul. Anyone? And you know what? I challenge any Muslim, life in front of you, to choose for me any chapter in the Quran, and he challenged me to show him a mistake which is a stupid in that chapter. Who want to make the challenge? Anyone? You choose any chapter you wish. From the first page to the last page. Anyone? Do we have anyone? Mayday, mayday. We need the Abdul. Anyone? No Abdul. Well, not always we got lucky, what we can say. I mean, we have to admit. Sometimes we have to wait here for hours in order to get Abdul. You know? Sometimes we can get the Abdul easy. Sometimes we cannot get the Abdul easy. It's the bend in the location of the bees. So can we have Abdul? Who is the Abdul who want to get the blessing of Allah, the Lord of the world, the God who have a dog, who will eat you if you don't believe in him? And by the way, in case you do not know, the reason Christian Prince, he have a gun with him because he's afraid that Allah will send his dog and he will eat him. Allah has a dog. <laughs> and the guy, he said, I'm not going to believe in the Lord of the star. So Allah, he sent his dog and he ate him. Why Allah, he don't send his dog to eat me? And eat you? So Allah, he grow dogs too. Yeah, dogs are najis. They are filthy, dirty in Islam. But suddenly Allah have a dog, obviously. And Muhammad, you see, Muhammad he try always to terrify the Muslims. You remember in the Quran where Muhammad he said that Allah will insert in the anus of the of the one who don't believe in him, he will insert in his anus a huge chain. Who remember where where we can find that? Who remember? Let us see who a few is still young and who a few is still getting older. Anyone remember? This is the point of those those things to make you believe, to force you to believe. He scare you. Chapter sixty-nine, verse number thirty-two. So, so unbelievable. If you don't believe in Allah, brother, a brother and sister, I warn you and I tell you, if you don't believe in Allah, Allah is going to insert a huge thing in your anus. And in Pakistan, we have a lot of thing ready for you. 
he will do 69 for you the chapter name it's a miracle even the chapter name is 69 isn't it, this is alone is enough to prove to us that this is a miracle read carefully with me the knowledge of Allah who will insert a chain in your anus Ta -da -da -ta -da -da -ta -da -da. please buy Nivea Ta -da -da -ta -da -da -ta -da -da. you will need it very soon Ta -da -da -ta -da 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 -da. all right where we are where we are now <coughs> Uh, this is 6929. <coughs> oh, well done. Oh, oh, oh. No, this is 68. I was wondering why it's coming like this. All right. Read with me carefully, please. What's happening? Let us go to the main page. Hold on. Ibnika Theor. I will show you. The amazing, beautiful God. His name is Allah. Okay. Here we go. After you go to the judgment day, Allah will order the angels to size you. They will size you, size him, and fetter him, and throw him in the blazing fire. But hold on, you are not done yet. <laughs> and then fasten him on a chain, wherefore the length is 70 cubits. Kabul Ahbar said, Every ring of it will be equal to the entire amount of iron found in the world. I mean, do you see how big this chain? Every ring of this chain is equal to entire iron in the world. How many billions of tons that will be? Unbelievable. This is all for me. And then Al-Wafi reported that Ibn Abbas, that Ibn Jurair, the blah, 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 said, each cupid will be former's length of an angel if, 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 if. Ibn Juray report, reported فأسلكو. explain what the word فأسلكو mean fasten him it will be entered into his buttocks ouch ouch I wish I am good in cartoon I want to make this as a cartoon a cartoon for adult and they will play it in a Playboy station. We have a human being all in the horror or horror station. Horror, 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 horror. It will be entered into his buttocks. So now we bring a guy, and then we bring a huge, a huge chain. Every ring of it is equal to all the iron in the world. And now the angels are pushing that chain in the buttocks. Bush, brother, bush. Brother, it's so thin. I mean, the, the chain is so big and his anus is so small. What we can do? A brother spit there or put some Nivea. <laughs> so it will be entered into his buttocks and will pull out of his mouth. If, 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 if. Can I draw? Sure, I can draw. What are you talking about? I am the best artist in the world. Okay, hold on. You see, you, 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 I just forgot that I am very good in, in drawing. Okay, this is the guy who don't believe in Allah. Hmm. 
I'm telling you, I'm very good. By the way, I have a copyright over this drawing. Don't try it like and sell it in the in the auction or etc. All right. So this is a guy who don't believe in Allah. All right. Here we have his neck. Here we have his shoulder. Uh, we will make his shoulder small so it can fit in the screen. And then his this is his bum. His is fat. This is his bum. All right. And those are his legs. Then Allah will bring a huge chain. Huge, big, I mean really big. Very big and very, very huge. And he will insert the chain in his anus. I'm trying to make the chain small, but the fact the chain every ring will be like here. All of this will go inside his anus. And the angels will be pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. And then they will take the chain from his mouth. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to my channel in case you like to learn how to draw. Forget about what we teach here. We will open a special class to teach you how to draw horror movie. Terror. I mean, obviously, this is a good religion and this is true God. And you know, even the Muslims, they went so far in describing for us the size of the chain and the size of the rings of this chain. Look, look, look. It will be entered into his buttocks and pulled out of his mouth. Then it will be arranged on, he will be arranged, they will be arranged in the chain, just like Luktos. Ooh, barbecue, barbecue. Allah will put us like Luktos. And our orange in a stick is being roasted. <laughs> Al Wafi reported from Ibn Abbas that he said it will run into his behind until it's brought from his to his nostrils. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see my nose. So Allah will put the chain uh, in the ass and then he will take it out from the nose. Ah. I mean, that's so beautiful and it's so much imaginary. I mean, who, who can reject such a religion? And now you have one million reasons to believe in the Prophet and to say Shahada. If you are worried about your anus, you better say Shahada. If you are worried about your nostril, you have to say Sahada. If you are worried about these things getting inside you, coming out outside you from your mouth, you have to say Shahada. And then they continue in the description. They say, if a drop of lead like this, like what? Like the ring of the chain. And he pointed to the skull bone were sent from the heaven to the earth. And it is a distance of 500 years. Look, the Muslim, they knew even what the distance is between them. You know, I mean, <laughs> because Muhammad, he said that. Muhammad, he told them the distance between each heaven is 500 years. <laughs> In the camel speed. Hmm. Do we have any Abdul? There we go. Somebody is going to sue me for breaking his ribs. His wife, she will call the police and they will say, this guy, I have witnesses. He made my husband laugh and he broke his ribs. I know it. Any Abdul? Hello? I'm lying, doesn't say camera speed. <laughs> well, Muhammad, when he measured the speed, he measured it by what? When he measured distance, he measured it by what? Do you want me to show you? By the travel of a camel. Because those Bedouin, they travel and they say, it takes us there a month, a year. As an example, what is the distance of the flying carpet of Suleiman? Anyone remember? Who remember the flying carpet of Suleiman? <clears throat> the 
the flying carpet of Suleiman, it goes in a distance of one month by morning. Chapter 21, verse number 82. What is the distance there it measure the distance with? It is the date. The date of what? Of travel. The date of travel. How, how long it take to travel to that area? So, at that time, what people they used to travel with? Either walking or camel. They are people of the desert. They don't have airplane. So, if we go now in the in the in the same website to read the tafsir, chapter twenty one, verse number eighty one. Let us go there. <coughs> okay. 81 here we go here we go this is a mika theory interpretation again this is not my interpretation so most of them don't say i'm making things up i know you i know you i know you okay then you will see here where is the story of the uh, wind wind here we go hmm. uh And to Suleiman, we subjected the wind strongly. Ragging means we subjugated the, a strong wind to Suleiman, running by his command toward the land which he we would blessed, meaning the land which Asham, which is great Syria. And of everything we are all knower. He had a mat made of wood. Which he would place all the equipment. Hold on, let me fix this thing here. You are not reading the whole thing. Is it better now? I want to be sure that you can see it. Anyway, so he he had a mate or a mat made of wood on which he would place all equipment, all the equipment of his kingship, horses, camels, tents, and troops. Then he would command the wind to carry it. This is a very true story. My grandfather, he used to own the same kind of carpet and we used to fly all of us. We used to go every weekend to Las Vegas. We jump in the flying carpet. We put our donkeys, our uh, the camel, all the Arabian stuff. All the Arab stuff. So I built all the Arab needs. You know, I, you know, as you know, I am an Arab. So like this is what we take with us. You know, like you know, we would go a trip. We take our side belt. We take uh, for, uh, 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 you know, C4. I mean, all sandwiches, all the sandwiches. So we take all the kingship with us, and then we jump in the top of the flying carpet, and then it take by noon time the distance of a month. Month of what? Travel by camel. So this guy, he fly to go from a place to place. By noon time, he arrive. It's a distance of a month. And he placed in the top of the flying carpet all the army, all his army. Do you see it says the troops, the tents, the troops. It's like a flying city. Literally, it's a flying city. Camels, horses. Actually, I remember we used to take with us, you know, we grow tomato, uh, we grow trees. Uh, it's a big carpet, big, huge carpet, very huge. And uh, by the way, what happened when the American they came to our country and they control our country? Those kuffar they stole the carpet from the front of the door of my father, and this is a true story. If we ask Zakir Naik about the flying carpet of Prophet Solomon, what he will say, <clears throat> Brother Fitter, there is the person his name is the Christian Prince, and he always make fun of the flying carpet of a Prophet Solomon. 
and just to tell you how ignorant he is. Imagine yourself, you are not exist in the year 2018. And somebody told you there is something it's called boing, 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 777. You will not believe him. Because you never saw it. But in fact, it's true. And this is exactly what happened with the Prophet Solomon. He have a flying carpet. It have no engine. It's run by wind. And that because Allah is going clean. He don't like to pollute our environment. No alcohol. No fuel. Nothing, brother. It's a pure, clean wind. And until now, the wisdom, they are making energy from wind, trying to learn from Allah. Thank you very much. Are you Iraqi? What make me Iraqi? I mean, what's wrong? Every day I have a new citizenship. Sometimes I'm Iraqi, sometimes I'm Lebanese, sometimes I'm Syrian, sometimes I'm Jordanian, sometimes I'm Saudi. She know how the she know how the any. Oh, anyway. So horses, camels, tents, troops, and then he would command the wind to carry it. I love that. Guys, do you know how much money I spent in my last trip? A lot of money. If I have the command of the wind and I can fly in a flying carpet, hmm, that will be interesting. That would be so nice. No security check, no passport expired, you land wherever you want, especially because I'm an Arab. Everybody welcome me. The second you say you are an Arab, nobody even asks you questions. Not in the airport, like in the airport, nobody asks you to take off your shoes or take off your pant or go in the x-ray or go in a special inspection or they will not check your bags 10 times and you will not find that everybody was playing with your back. This has never happened to an Arab guy like me, never. Because we are trustworthy, very much trustworthy. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> uh, and he would and it would he would go underneath it uh, he 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 could do, go underneath it and it would carry him aloft shading him and protecting him what from the heat what not only you will be in the top of a flying carpet, by the way, here there's something missing in the translation. What they were saying that when, when Suleiman he go in the top of the flying carpet, the birds will fly in the top of him to keep him in shade. And you can imagine how much poo poo Suleiman he used to enjoy. Imagine, like in, in order to have shade of birds in the top of me, I have like what a thousand birds. How much poo poo that will do? The bird they poop every five seconds. So the birds are covering Suleiman and shading him. And this is a true story, by the way. All those stories are true. If you don't believe in Islam, you better believe now because those stories can be found only in Islam. So until he reach wherever he want to go in the land. But by the way, before, before Suleiman, uh, before he got this uh, Boeing 777 carpet, flying carpet, anyone remember what he used to do? <clears throat> How Suleiman used to fly? Anyone remember? Why Suleiman he got the flying carpet? Anyone remember? I'm serious. Why he got it? Because he used to have before a flying horse. And he one day he got angry and he slaughtered his horse. So Allah, he sent him in his birthday another gift. It's a flying carpet. Any Muslim want to say this is, this is false? <clears throat> I mean, why this guy is so lucky with the flying things, flying horse? You see, the Muslim they say in the Bible there's unicorn. The Bible speak about unicorn. Unicorn is a real animal, not the one in the fictions. The one in the fictions is in your books, Muslims. In Arabic, we call it Wahidul Qarn. 
it's not talking about those two, the one you see in the cartoon it's talking about a real animal who is exist and you can search in Google and you will see them they are until now exist but you're a prophet here speaking about the unicorn the one who fly a flying horse and a flying carpet do we have any Abdul All those stories, Muhammad, he got them from the stupid stories of the Jews, the legion of the Jews. <clears throat> as simple as that, and he believed in them. If I ask you to be the grand, the godfather of my son, you will come to Germany. My friend Emmanuel, I will be honored to do so. But to be honest with you, I'm a poor man. I cannot afford really to travel a lot. I, I don't live in Germany. Otherwise, I honestly I will be honored to do to be so. Unless you want to buy me the ticket, because as you see, my flying carpet is gone. <laughs> the flying carpet which I use, uh, the the American they stole it, the kuffar. Yeah. <laughs> do we have any Muslim? Any Abdul? No Muslims, that's it? Are we out of them? Yeah, this is what they believe. They believe that uh, Suleiman, one day he got upset, so he slaughtered his, his horse. No, I do not forget the Minister of Irrigation. You guys, do you know who is the Minister of Irrigation in Islam? Anyone knows? Who remember? Let me show you. The Minister of Irrigation. This is the minister of irrigation in Islam. No, it's a bird. This guy, he was hired by Suleiman to be the minister of irrigation. If you go to any Islamic country, if the Muslim, they see this bird, they will never even touch him. They think that this is was al, al hudhud which is the minister of irrigation for Prophet Solomon, who hired by Allah. And this guy, he went all the way, and then he found for Suleiman, the queen of Sheba, who have no hair in her legs. So he was full-time minister of irrigation, part-time womanizer, or dating uh, business. Actually, I think this guy, he can find me a good wife. What do you think, guys? This guy, he can stand in any window, and he can spy at the women to see if they have hair in their legs, the same what happened to Suleiman. I don't want to marry a woman. She is she having a lot of hair. Hello? A woman, she have no hair in her legs. Why? A woman at that time, they used to be like monkeys? Any Abdul? Any Abdul has anything to say about what we said until now? I mean, why the Abdul they are why the Abdul they disappear? Where is the Abdul? Anyone? Al Hudhud. No, no, if you see the story about the hudhud, you will not believe it, guys. Like, Suleiman, he is a king, and but he is a king who have an army of birds. Have you ever heard of an army of a chicken? General chicken, uh, a brigade of a chicken, a surgeon chicken, a surgeon rooster. Okay. <clears throat> Do 
Suleiman, every morning, he check his army of birds. And remember, Allah, he taught him the language of birds. Allah taught him what? The language of birds, not Chinese. No, no, no. The language of birds. All birds, this look like all birds speak one language. Not like us, sadly. So, in chapter 27, verse number 20, you will see that Suleiman, in the morning, he went to check on the army of birds. He took a muster of birds and he said, why, why, why is it I see not the hobo? Hobo, what a horrible news. Prophet Suleiman is a chicken, his army of birds, and he did not find, he found one bird is missing. How dare you? And then Suleiman, he got angry and he said, I will certainly punish him with severe penalty or execute him. I mean, this is normal. He's a king. Imagine you are a bird in the army of the king. And now you are absent without giving excuse. So what do you think that would happen? First of all, the prophet Suleiman, he is going to call the MP, the military police. And <clears throat> brother Fitter, when the Prophet Solomon, he thick in the bird, and he found one of the birds is missing. Some of you might wonder why he was so upset. Because the Prophet Solomon is very what organized. He don't like to have a lousy army. Everybody had to wake up or 4 a.m. in the morning. Everybody had to do ablution and start prayer for Allah. And then we do the attack at the neighbors and we steal their women. So Prophet Solomon at that day, he was preparing himself to attack the neighbor. So they can kill the men and steal the women at all Muslim. And because this bird was missing and his dub is irrigating. So now who is going to irrigate the birds? They will get thirsty. So the Prophet Solomon, he said, if you don't give me a good execute, I'm going to slaughter him. Thank you very much. You will execute this guy because he is absence. I mean, look how strict this army. I am a king of the ring and I found a bird is missing and now I am angry. I will execute him. Please, king, have mercy on him. He is the minister of irrigation. People will get thirsty if you kill him. I don't care. Everybody have to follow my order. What? That's really serious. And then the hoop hoop, he came back. And he told him, uh, King, uh, let me tell you what happened. I found, I found there a woman ruling over them and provided with every requisite and she is magnificent throne she has a magnificent throne <laughs> so this guy he was working for the cia at that time the bird so he fly like don't you see the satellite hmm? today they have satellite to spy at each other right Suleiman at that time he used this bird to spy too <clears throat> any abdul I mean, how in the world you people are not converting to Islam yet? Don't you have enough? No, but you know, the funny, you see the funny thing about, about Islam, stupidity is amazing. You see here, it's, it says that Allah, he taught him the language of the birds. But then just a few verses before, you will see that Suleiman, he was listening to the ant. <laughs> we forgot to talk about the end guys in the Middle East and this is a true story let me show you and before Solomon we are marched his host of jinn and men and birds so his army is what his army is a tree army army of genie army of a human army of birds yes army of birds and 
they were kept in order and ranks so they are going in line like you see in the cartoon like they are walking like in line ranks unbelievable unbelievable army of jinn army of men army of birds and all of them they are walking in ranks they are marching and the drill sergeant he says to you to the left stupid idiot to the left <laughs> and then at the length when they come to the lowly valley of the ant lowly lowly valley of the ants there's a valley for the ants in the middle east you see guys in the middle east we have it from everything we have valley of the cockroaches we have valley of bees we have valley of ants we have a valley of hillary clinton we have we have from all kind of insect any insect you went to we we can find you a valley for it so we have a valley it's called the valley of ants anyone knows why we call it the valley of the ants anyone knows why silicon, silicon valley <laughs> because only in the middle east in that valley ants live yes i mean at that time and then after that after that door ants because the liberals they took over europe and america so the ants immigrated from everywhere and now you can find them everywhere and actually me myself as an immigrant i fly to america in the top of one of those ants to be honest with you <laughs> true story so the valley of the ants one of the ants said i mean look at this guys look at the details look at this amazing details how many ants is in the colony a billion a million allah is very very into much into details one of the ants do you see the word one one of the ants said oh ye ants get into your habitations lest suleiman and his host crush you under their foot without knowing it if 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 one of the ants said that not two not a three not four we have to be honest it is only one ant because obviously she is the one in charge of guarding the muslim by the way they make an article about it that there's ants who they are guardian to the other ants but here it says one of the ants abdul and one of the ants said said ants don't talk ants are deaf ants are blind do you know that actually sorry uh, they are deaf and they are mute they are deaf and they are mute so how the ant she said what she said and then the Quran make more poopoo said so he smiled and used at her speech speech Solomon he heard the speech of the ant if 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 this guy he can hear an ant I mean how strong his hearing is but ants don't talk you see for sure ants talk I mean all the creatures they communicate we can call it talk but they don't really talk their communication their talk is not by saying words they communicate in two ways either vibration or chemical but the guy here the Quran says he was amused with her speech so she made a speech he heard her speech 
But isn't it the Quran say that Allah He taught Suleiman the language of birds? Allah He taught him the language of birds, but he's learned the language of ants. <laughs> Look like Suleiman he entered the wrong classroom. <laughs> he thought he's learning bird language. <laughs> it turned to be the to the, the ants. <laughs> True story. If you don't believe that Muhammad is a false prophet yet, obviously you have a mental issue. All those stories, by the way, you can find them in something called the legions of the Jews. The Jews, they have a lot of fairy tale stories about Suleiman, about David, about any, many. And they used to tell those stories to their kids. Muhammad, because he's a false prophet, he took them and he put them and he claimed that Allah told him to say those stories. No, no, you can actually. It's it's for free because the Legion of the Jews translated by a guy, I forgot his name. It's not like a copyrighted, I think. So it's legally for free. You can download it from the internet. Just search for it. It's called the Legion of the Jews, and you will find the story, the exact story of the ants. You will see it there. Any Abdul? Guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And for those who they really uh, care for what we do, we appreciate your support. I noticed that very a few of you is really caring for helping us in what we do. Always your support is needed. Uh, look like we need to speak about it in order to people for people to help us. Mm. I don't like to talk about it, but we will see. Any Abdul left? Yeah, you know, for me, actually, I want an ant to contact me. But the ant sure should be, uh, first, you have to be single. Okay. And uh, she, uh, she have to be beautiful in the age of Khadija. She's like 25 years older than me. Very rich. And she liked to marry a guy. His name is Muhammad. And the rest is easy. <clears throat> Any Abdul? Where is the Abdul? So we got the one Abdul today. That's it. That's it. Mm, look like we are out of them. All right, guys. Today is Saturday, so I think I guess. Many of you is going to get out. You are not like me who stay home doing his work in his computer. Uh, how many of you are getting out today? Going to a dinner outside. Listen, any one of you, he invite me for a dinner outside uh, with you, for sure you will pay. Um, I am willing to make uh, Allah give you extra reward in the heaven of Allah nobody's going out it is Sunday now all of you staying home just because I was going to take me out unbelievable unbelievable here we go see all of, all of them they want to go sleep now just because he said who want to take me out for a dinner <laughs> unbelievable <laughs> uh, I can't believe it uh, how gracious they are all right, <clears throat> late Saturday night in Nigeria. I would like to go to Nigeria. I like to go to Africa, actually. But because I know nothing there, you know, I don't know anyone. Come to California? Yeah, right. I will never go to California. Full of those liberals. A woman there, she will accuse me that I did, uh, 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 you know, hold her hair when she was... Uh, 17 years old, 76 years ago. <laughs> don't go to California. Don't go to California. They will accuse you of something. Don't don't go there. Don't do that. And they will accuse me that I throw some ice cream at somebody. <laughs> I will never go. <laughs> oh boy. And I will never, I will never let the Trump 
asked me to be a judge in the Supreme Court. I will accept to be a judge in the in the in the court of Suleiman Batar. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> thank you, my friend in Nigeria. I, I I will be honored to be there. Any Abdul? Here we go. All of you are inviting me. Where is the ticket? Send me the ticket and they will come. Talk is cheap. What about coming here and what about going there? But I'm going nowhere. <laughs> you know, you get you, you remind me of some Middle Eastern who say to you, they are very cheap. They say to you, Do you like to sleep here or the hotel is better for you? Do you like to eat in our house or in the restaurant? It's more tasty. <laughs> um anyway. <coughs> Any Abdul? Anyone? I want to go to Toronto. CP, you are up for it. What I will do in Toronto, Steve. Last time I went, I crossed the borders to Canada. They took off all the inside of my car. They thought I'm really a terrorist. They took me inside. They took the all the inside of the doors, the chairs. They brought dogs. <laughs> Unbelievable. So beautiful. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's fun to be an Arab, to be honest with you. I mean, wherever you go, they love you. They give you hugs. You are going to be a superstar in two seconds. Very beautiful. Uh, yeah, you will buy me a nice dinner. You want me to buy a, a, a ticket all the way to California. And then this woman, Dr. Frank Stein, whatever his name, she accused me of something to get a dinner. Keep dreaming. What if she is there? Unbelievable. You have some questions about reference in my books <coughs> no problem <coughs> but isn't it the reference there the reference is there so as long as you have the reference what the question about the reference the reference is there you can search them any abdul <clears throat> Arab Christian, what name they call Allah? Well, you know, Arab Christians today, uh, because after the occupation of the Muslims of 1400 years, they use the word Allah when they speak about God. But that is not really what is in the Bible. So, yes, they use the same word, but this is a wrong thing. And that because of 1400 years of humiliation and occupation. Imagine you are controlled by ISIS for two weeks. What is the word you are allowed to use when you say God? Are you getting my point? Just two weeks. Not 1400 years of ISIS. Actually, you can get my book in French, yes. Just search for the Le Secret du Prophète Arabe. It's the same book in French. Le Secret. The Prophet Arab. <clears throat> you see, the, the 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 problem between us and the Muslims is not the name of the God. Let us say the Muslims, for the sake of argument, they change the name of their God. They call it Jesus. Let us say assume, but still, it's not the same one. You do you understand? Our problem with the with the with Islam is not the name. You see, in Arabic, I call uh, uh, Jesus. I call him Yeshua. In Hebrew, Yeshua. In Arabic, I say Messiah. You say Messiah. So, in some other languages, even the name it changed a lot. But still, it's the same person, even though the name is not the same. But in Islam. The name is not really the problem. The problem is everything in this cult has have nothing to do with our God. You see, God is not about a name. What Jesus says about how, how we recognize anything. He said, 
from their fruits you shall know them do we agree from their fruits we shall know them okay what what fruits have to do with the name you can call yourself whatever you want there's a guy he claimed to be the messiah there's a guy he is the leader of the Ahmadiyya he claimed to be the messiah the Christians they came to him they said okay if you are the Messiah here we go we have like 50 60 people outside who they cannot walk and talk and blind and etc make them do what the Messiah does if you are the Messiah so from their fruits you shall know them and the fruits of Islam is very stupid very ugly very disgusting have nothing to do with the fruits of Jesus right we are not a chicken who follows a person by look or by a shape we recognize our Lord not by a name actually if you read the whole Bible there's no names for the Lord when Moses asked ask uh, uh, the Lord what I will say to my people who are you he told him I am he did not give him a name you see mistakenly some Christian they think that we have a God who have a name there's no name because there is no name can describe him all the names are just a language of a human being which is limited there's no name can describe God but he is known and he came to us in person so we are not the same as the Muslims who never know what who is this God what he is about what he can do what he cannot do we know the God he came to us in person he lived between us and he is right now with us So my problem with the with Islam is not uh, is not a name. If the Muslims they change their God name and they call him Elohim, they call him Jehovah. Still, this is not him. You see, if somebody have a donkey and he changed the name of his donkey and he call it horse still his donkey is a donkey right so don't fool yourself with the name we don't have a problem with the name you have only one god okay first of all prove to me that you have one god prove to me that his name is allah or prove to me who is allah you don't know what allah mean you don't know have you ever heard of somebody Follow a God, he have a name, and you do not know what the name mean? Guys, did you hear Dr. Rohi? He said, we do not know who is the first one who used that word. Did you, did you hear him saying that? Did, did, did Dr. Rohi say that the word Allah is Allah Hashay, which means worship something? And we do not know who is the first one who said that? He said it's an Arabic word, but we do not know who is the first who said that. That's stupid. So you are worshipping something. This is a guy who has a PhD in Islam. We worship something. How you know that this something is one? And if he is one or two, who care? I don't refuse to call it Allah. I call it Allah. Your God is Allah. Which is something. <laughs> And you know, the funny when Muslims they say we worship one God, who cares if it's one or 20? If the God is a true God, if he is one or 20 God and they are true God, it's, they are 20 God. Let us assume there is 1,000 God and they are true God. That will not change anything. They are true God still. They are one or 20 or 20,000 as long as it's a true. It's true. If it is false, it's false. Are we getting the point? The Muslims are so proud that they worship one God, but yet they do not know who is this one God. And who cares if he is one or 50? This is a stupid even argument. So you are worshiping one snake or two snakes? And what a big deal the egyptian before you worship one god the christian worship one god the jews worship one god so what what does that mean this is nothing to be proud about 
If God is one, he's one. If he is two, he's two. But this is how silly the argument of Muslims. They don't ask themselves how Allah, he is a true God, but yet he said, when Suleiman, he arrived to the, to the lowly valley of ants. So you have one God who telling us that there is a prophet, he was speaking and he hearing the ants talking. That ants don't talk and they don't speak. They are mute. And he was amused with her speech. This is the God you are talking about, who you worship? Is that him? Ants don't talk since forever. Ants don't talk. They are mute. They communicate by chemical and vibration. They make noise, but the noise is not for them to hear. The noise because of vibration. They don't talk. They communicate. They communicate by, by chemical. You can go check right now. That communication, we can call it talk. But it's not talking. As you see here, it says he was amused with her speech. <clears throat> Who is a Muslim would like to call me? Why I don't support Palestine? Because my brother, the, the prophet of Allah, he support Israel. Can you show me one place your God Allah in the Quran? He said Palestine. Why Allah don't support Palestine? Allah, he support the Jews. Allah in the Quran, he said that Allah, he gave the land to the Jews. Chapter 5, verse 21. Ya qawm. Oh people, my people, enter the holy land which Allah assigned to you. Do you see it? Yes, Allah. Allah sponsored the Jew. Your God, Allah, is a Zionist. Oh my people, enter the holy land which Allah has assigned into you. You who? The Jews. What? No, no, it's in the front of you. Remember Moses, who is talking? Moses said to his people, who is his people? Children of Israel. Do you see it? So why Allah never mentioned the word Palestinian or Palestine in his Quran? Neither in the Hadith. Yet he is saying that this is a land assigned by Allah to the Jews. What do you say? Are you going to accuse Allah to be Zionist and he worked for the Mossad? Ah, I am Jahil. He called me names now, but he cannot answer. See, he will change the topic. Answer why Allah he says that this is the land Allah assigned to the Jews. <clears throat> hmm? I am Faris CB, and it is my fifth time or six. You guys have blocked me. Who is Faris? Are you the guy who said to me the Torah is not the book of Allah? And I have no time for kids. <laughs> Do we have any Abdul? What kind of God? He, you know, if you read this verse, by the way, those verses, the Mu Allah He told Musa to go and kill all the Palestinians. Do you see it? They refused to go and assault the Palestinian, but among them, Allah fearing men. Two Jews, there's two Jews, they were Bujahideen, ISIS, whom Allah bestowed his grace. They said, assault them, assault them at the proper gate. Allah is praising the Jews who want to kill the Palestinians. Do you see it? Do you see it? Allah saying that those who want to assault the Palestinians and kill them, Allah called them two whom Allah bestowed his grace on them. Do you see that? Why Allah is praising the one who want to kill the Palestinians? This is Quran. Is Allah a Jew?
Hello. Hello, CP. Hey, my friend. How are you? Hello. Are you there? Specific verse. Okay, uh, can one. You, can uh, you see me? Yeah, Yaakov. I, I, lo I lost you. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, lost I, you. I went to the highest authority on Islam in Egypt okay. to ask about. I, I went to the website and they, they gave, there's a number and it says all free and you, you request a fatwa and I, I asked them for the tafsir for this one. Uh, funnily enough, I gave them all the details and I, I requested a fatwa and uh, uh, they, they ripped me off and they never gave me a fatwa. <laughs> they, never, they never gave me the, the, the proper tafsir. Like the Quran, he said, intaziru wa antaziru ma'akum. Intaziru. Wait. It's going to come uh, yes. one day. It's going to yes. come one day. You know. Anyway, I mean, the the the, the verses are clear. Uh, uh, Allah here very clear is insulting and, and the if Jews you... for not killing the Palestinians. He don't like them. He said they are coward. They are bad. They abandon Musa to go and do jihad against the Palestinians. He is praising two men who agree to attack the Palestinians. Yes. Uh, also, I I, I checked. Uh, some of the the tafsirs for this like on my own and they give really really stupid excuses for 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 the matter like for example that the that the promise that god gave them uh, to enter the land was uh, was only for a temporary period of time and that somehow justifies this becoming a palestinian land can you see how no i, uh, I, I, how, I, I, I debated many muslims before about this they say at that time the people there, they were pagans, so it's okay to kill them. This is the logic of the Muslims. So it's the, okay to kill a pagan. Yeah, because the, uh, very, those, very, those Palestinians, very logic. those Palestinians, they are Muslims at that time, so it's okay to kill them. But now you have no right to kill them because they are Muslims. They have protection of Allah. This is the hypocrisy of the Muslims. <clears throat> yeah, you can kill anyone who's not a Muslim, but. If you kill a Muslim, the whole the whole world, uh, the whole Muslim world falls apart. Yeah, you can kill a Muslim if he is just uh, uh, from other sect. It's okay, like because Muhammad he allowed Muslim to kill each other anyway. Yeah, if he's a Shia, yes, if he's a Shia not or a Shia, Alawi or all these people, you you can kill. Not, not only a Shia, the Quran confirmed that if there's two two uh, two uh, sect of you have a dispute. And uh, support the one who's right, but Muhammad he never said who is the one who's right. Everybody says I am the right one. So now the Sunni themselves they kill each other. You know the Sunni they kill a lot of Sunnis, not only Shia, because anyone as an example. If you go right now, yes. as, as long as you are yes. searching about uh, fatwa, you can go and search right now for uh, the the ones who claim that the Quran is a created. There is many Sunnis. They believe for some time that the Quran is a created. The Muslims they issue fatwa until now that anyone believe. That the Quran is a created, he is a kafir and he should be killed. And uh, uh, from the time of Muhammad, there is many incident of people who were slaughtered for believing that the Quran was a created. This is why, like you know, there's a group they call them Al Mu'tazila, Al Mu'tazila. You know, so yeah. Uh, 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 the second you just ag disagree about an opinion, the majority they will kill the minority. And if the majority in this place became minority in different place, they themselves they will be killed. As an example, in certain yeah, time, they, they, Egypt, yeah. Egypt used to be what you know? Do you know what Egypt used to be? A Christian nation. No, before, I mean after, when when uh, Islam over, became Shia. It became a Shia. Yes, yes, the the Fatimian. Right. So the Shia controlled Egypt for a long time. Uh, during that yes. time, if you are a Sunni, you are a potato there. They will kill you. Suddenly. This, the, the, the Sunni took over, the king became a Sunni, everybody transformed into Sunni overnight. Where the Shia? What happened? Yeah. Have you ever heard of a nation? The whole nation changed overnight? Yeah, because this is this is not really uh, uh, people who convert because they are you know, convinced, but because when you put the sword in the neck of people, they change overnight. 
Yeah. The king is Sunni, they are Sunni, the king is Shia, they are Shia. Who okay. care? They want to live. People they are poor, they want to live. Uh if there's anything else, uh, uh my friend. Uh yes, yes. Um I wanted uh, the, the actual sources for uh, Muhammad's name being Qathim and not uh, and not Muhammad. Yeah, you can you can find that actually in many sources. Uh, you speak Arabic, right? Yeah, uh, yes, I do. Yeah, you can search. Uh, there's an article written by uh, Doctor uh, the the Tunisian writer. Right, right. You can you can go uh, and uh, but if you can get the article, he gave a lot of uh, source actually, and if you can get his book too. Uh, however. This is exist in Ibn Kathir. This exists in many places. That what happened that the grandfather of Muhammad, he used to yes. have he have a child before Muhammad. Remember Muhammad. Uh, Muhammad he is an orphan, right? He he is supposedly an orf an orphan. All right, but this is what they say. However, his his grandfather he have a son, which means this is the uncle of Muhammad. He have an uncle. Yes. His name is Qatham, and Qatham he passed away. So the Arab, what they used to do, the first baby is born. After the one who passed away, they name him by his name. So he, he caught the name of his... He got the name uh, of his, his uncle, uncle. Yeah. 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 Uh, anyway, the Muslim, they say this is not true. Many of them, but you know, for sure, there's, there, there's, there's a lot of evidence about that. And in the same time, the, the, the stories of the Quran and Muhammad confirm that this is not his name. Because if Muhammad's name is Muhammad, why his name in different verse in the Quran is Ahmad? Why it is Mustafa sometimes, you know? The, the, yes. the name of a person, it's, it's, that is not a name. That is it's a an adjective, not a name. It's a title, you know? He, he, he yeah. praised himself that he is... Muhammad simply, he was a person trying the to praise. replace yeah. Jesus, you know? He is trying to be Jesus of today, of his time. So he is the praised yeah. one. People before... It's a, it's they a very... Jesus. Very intricate and very well made system. To be honest, if if Muhammad really came came up with this on his own, uh, then I, I I really think that he he has like enough intelligence to do something like that in his time. It's not Don't about, you think? It's not about intelligence. Sometimes 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 you can be a stupid, and you became a king yeah. because opportunity is coming. You know. Not yeah, he he said the right things in the right time. No, it's not actually. It's not even the right things in the right time about he said. No, it's about you know. Uh, if you go and how see how Muhammad he he became what he became. Muhammad was rejected all by all the good ones. The one who joined him, it was the gang. Ru'a, you know, al al uh, yes, yes, yes. So yes, so, the, the mercenaries. Yeah, he, yeah missionaries. Uh, uh, missionary. They they join him. And uh, he started attacking. Uh, he's a gang. He, even the Muslim agree. He attacked the caravans. He steal the the clothes and the food. This is what he is. What does this have to do with the Prophet? All, all in the name of of, uh, of Allah. Yeah, and almost, you know? he, almost he was destroyed. Actually, almost he was destroyed. But it was his luck, and things work in his side. Uh, the Arab they were not united against him, so he was able to to be successful somehow. And in the same time. Uh, the Persian and the Roman they were fighting each other for more than 300 years and both they are exhausted totally exhausted so Muhammad when he finished with the Arab he found nobody stop him the Persian are gone the Roman are so tired they've been victorious yes but there's not don't have more men to fight you see remember in the Quran the chapter of a Roman where yes, it says that the Roman uh, they've been defeated Rome. right so the, yeah. the Roman, obviously, they are not in good shape. They are ju they're just defeated. And then after a few years, defeated the, the Persian, which means all, both of them, they are really exhausted. They are defeating each other because both of them, they are almost, it's like two guys are fighting for 300 years and they have no energy left. So Muhammad, yes. he came at a perfect team. time where it's both so of them, fun. they are sitting in the side of the fence and they cannot move. You know? So he came in a perfect time. So it was how, how unlucky for the world. Yeah. That's what happened. So he came in a perfect time for him, uh, uh, and this is what happened. You know, this is what happened. The devil sub, uh, support evil. But you know, the, uh, the kingdom of Muhammad did not really live long because you see, if you if you read the history, you will see that Islam is gone since the beginning of Muhammad, because after that it was hijacked by families and businesses, and then the the Tatar they came the the Mongolian. They, they they destroyed the caliphate and they made their own caliphate and then the Turk took over the Turkish yes 
yeah. the most corrupt, the the most corrupt nation ever in history. They took over, and uh, since then, Islam has not exist. The caliphate became the Ottoman Empire, or what they came yeah. for, having more women, more money, stealing, attacking, killing neighbors. But there is no religion until now. You go to Turkey, you see Erdogan. He speak every. It's day. a secular state. No, no, they speak too much about religion. But Turkish are not religious. You go to Turkey, you see the, the yes. You see the corruption. You see the scam. You see the kidnapping. You see the thieves. You see the the, the prostitution. The bars are open. The night the, the nightclubs, striptease. I mean, go to go to go to Ankara. Go to Istanbul. Go Erdogan. He make a speech. I have every day friends there. Allah. I know. I know. I know. Yeah. They make a speech every day about Allah, but this guy, his country is is the the major income they have is prostitution and drugs, and drinking. The, why Erdogan don't forbid alcohol in his country if he's a Muslim leader? He he pretends he's a caliphate, but he's he's, he's know, too where, much of a liberal yeah, caliphate. Where, where where is the where is the guy who will forbid alcohol? Isn't it alcohol forbidden? I mean, this is the something little to do. I mean, you do not need to be genius to know that you as a Muslim supposedly should forbid alcohol you cannot do that because if you do that his country will be bankrupt they make a lot of money from tourism if he close all the night clubs and prostitution and all those things the the country is not it already the country will go back to the rubble that it used to be the country is used to be a Constantinia used to be a wonderful country it's not even their country you know but since they came there yes. and they stole yes. everything and uh, all, all what Ottoman Empire was built of stealing from the others for the sake of those who live in this area but what i'm trying to say that islam as yeah. islam is not exist no more islam is gone long time ago this is what is left over and today the muslims are not nothing different from before they fight each other and they kill each other go and see what the happened same. now in turkey exactly you know the saudi the emirati the bahrain the qatar the turkish the egyptian i mean it's a nations of people who hate each other to death Yes, if not America, it's sadden, suddenly true. If not America, right now the Middle East will be burning. Turkey will attack Syria, Saudi Arabia, Egyptian, and they will, they will attack Turkey. Iran will attack Saudi Arabia. The whole Islamic countries will be killing each other. Actually, already are killing each other anyway. War in Iran, war, war in, in Yemen, war in Syria, war with the Kurdish, war in uh, Iraq, uh, war, war in Afghanistan, war in Pakistan. Uh, uh, war in Libya. I mean, where? Where is there's a Muslim country that don't have a war? Um, I, I wanted to ask you about one more thing. Um, are you familiar with uh, the, the current Egyptian politics? No, not really. And uh, I don't really. I just wanted to ask you about like the president. Is, is, do, what do you think of him? I think all of them the same garbage. This, this is the Middle East, my friend. Okay. This is the Middle East. It's a, it's a, you know, it doesn't matter how they try to color themselves as to look like nice, to be a, a moderate. At the end of the day, all of them they are racist. You know? Very yes. And they are very. They, they discriminate you. They, they always find a way to discriminate you. You know, if you are black, they discriminate you. If you are not an Egyptian, discriminate you. If you are an Arab, Arab discriminate Egyptian. Egyptian discriminate Arab. You know, it, it's a, it's a, in the Middle East. All of it is messed up. This is why I don't like to live there. Actually, to be honest with you, I don't like to be there. No one likes even, living there. And even in here, in America, I don't associate with Middle Eastern because they don't change. Even those who live in the in USA, they are racist. They are racist. You know, like it's not a secret. You go go right now and search. You will find that the most ugly behavior toward black people yes, you find yes. in the Middle East. Go to Algeria. Algerian, they are African, but yet they treat the. the I, I've seen it in my own country. Yeah, and yeah. they treat the black people as they are slaves until now. And in Libya, they are now having thousands of slaves. In 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 Tunisia, if you know, go and see and see what they are doing to them in Tunisia. If you are a student from Africa coming to Tunisia, they treat you like garbage. They humiliate you. They beat you in the street. Same in Morocco. Same in Algeria. Those are more. I've, I've, I've seen it. Africa. I've seen it here in Egypt. Yeah. See. So you know it's a it's a race. They are racist, and they they always find a way to discriminate you. So you are a Christian, we will discriminate you. If you are not a Christian, we will find the else, You know something else. You know they always find some some small minority that they have to they to have, push they around. They have to abuse you somewhere, and, and they 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 try to find a way to abuse you. The point is how we can abuse you and suck your blood. You know. Yes. So if you are not from a big tribe, we abuse you too. 
you know if you are a poor we abuse you so let us say you are you are a muslim so he's not a christian we can't abuse him for his, being a christian he's a muslim but he's not from a um, high class family we can't abuse him he's a poor guy everybody abuse everybody everybody steal from everybody middle east is hell it is a hell you have to be from a powerful family to live a nice life in the middle east otherwise yes you are no one yes if you are from a powerful family you live like a king you can go by your car over somebody in the street and nobody will arrest you nobody even would talk about it that is certainly true yes um uh, what do you think of, uh, of of this this logic that these Arabs have? Is when you tell them, look at the 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 the, the modern Western countries, and how they uh, how they are, and look at us. Is this the, the 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 God's chosen people or God's Ummah or whatever? And then they say, but they don't have the the Deen. What do you say to this kind of people? You see, for me, the, the Western countries yeah. are not the best because of uh, yeah. nice streets yes. and etc. No, actually, the West is really is, is getting to be garbage like the Middle East, the same as the Middle East now. Because you go in the West, you will find the Middle East there more than the Middle East itself. You go to the West, now you find uh, 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 like a terrorist more than what you find in the Middle East. But I'm, I'm, I know what you are talking about, about... Uh, they build the civilization, etc. They are advanced, etc. But yeah. this is not really the reason for me to look at the Middle East in a in a in a bad way. That is not really the reason. You can be in a poor country who have no any advanced thing. Like you live only in the grass. You are a shepherd. Still, I will respect you, and I will consider you a wonderful human being. So I will not measure really a nation by uh, how advanced they are. But I will advance. The, I will. I will measure them by their fruits. This is what Jesus said: "From their fruits you shall know them." The fruits in the Middle East that everything is corrupt. The judge is corrupt. The police is corrupt. The president is corrupt. Everything around you is corrupt. The 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 the, the phone company they cut your phone in purpose and they call you and they say they come to you to your door. They say, "Is your phone working?" You say, "Let me check." You go inside. You find the phone is not working. They say, "See, well, you make a request, but he is the one who cut the cable outside a second ago." So you, he will make you pay him, bribe him to fix it for you now. Otherwise, you will wait for your turn. Everything is corrupt. This is the problem. You know, they have a corrupt mentality. They have a corrupt, uh, 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 like uh, uh, society. And at the same time, they are the most people who speak about being decent, and they are so proud about how wonderful they are. You are in the Middle East. I am from Middle East, and you know, when we speak about Western, we speak about them as they are garbage. Yes, yes, you know? and we are the look best. at the garbage West. Look at uh, how how immoral they are. Look at how uh, irreligious they are. We no, have the deen. That, we are the that. best. If you if you speak about a Western women, Western women in the Middle East, they speak about yeah. them, they are whore. But, if you, a but slut. If, yeah, but if you go in the in the Middle East, you see how how uh, how women they are taking drugs, sleeping with around, and uh, you know they do everything in the book of the devil. But in the same time, they they claim that they are the best of mankind it's because of how they, they've been um what's the word you know uh, they've been kept away from the these things and they, they finally found the chance to do it so yeah but you know I, i'm saying it's a it's a it's a society of hypocrisy everything Very. everything is a hypocrisy the the in the middle east in the culture of the middle eastern if you are a male you can go sleep out your mother knows your father knows and nobody will be upset if you are a girl and you do the same as your brother, they will you'll they be will go crazy, you know. And this is why everything is done under the carpet. Women they go sleep around, men they sleep around. Number one product in the Middle East for women is virgin again. All all women they go sleep around, and then before they get married, they buy a product. It's called virgin again, where women she inserted somewhere, and in the wedding night she claimed that she is a virgin, and then the husband he will see the blood. And he will be proud that his wife, she is a decent woman, but in fact, his wife, she did what nobody did before. There's a there's a woman, her name is Foxy. Anyone remember her video, guys? Anyone remember the, uh, the video of Foxy? This is a stupid, not... stupid Canadian woman who converted to Islam. And then she yeah. started living with the Muslim. And then she made a video 
to, to speak about the version. She is upset because they keep talking about you have to be a virgin, you have to be a virgin. And then she said, Muslim women, she go in the library, they go under the table, they do it. I'm not going to say the language she is saying, very dirty. They sleep with everybody. And then, you know, they do it everywhere except there. And then they claim to be a virgin, but they are not virgin. So this, this video, I advise people to, to, to watch it. If anyone have it, please post it in the, in the chat. Uh, I think it was called Foxy. I'll, I'll watch it after the stream. Yeah, I'll, uh, if somebody can uh, uh, find it, if somebody remember the name, or remember we can, where we can find the video, uh, please uh, uh, post it in the chat so they can see it. This woman, she converted to Islam, she lived between the Muslims, and she was shocked about how corrupt the society, that women, they wear hijab, they claim that they are decent, but in fact, they do everything you can imagine and things you cannot even imagine. And she, was, or obviously, she is being, she is suffering because she is, at, at the end of the day, she converted to Islam, yes, but they consider her as a Western. And for them, those people, they look at the Western that she is, a, I don't want to use the bad word, you know? She is a, yeah, yeah. You, you know what I'm saying. So, uh, 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 yeah, she, uh, is, she, is, she, is, she is a very bad women as simple as that yeah so she converted to islam she thought she would be treated nicely she thought it, this is a decent community and then she noticed how hypocrite they are anyone find the video of foxy <clears throat> nobody maybe somebody will find it anyway anything else uh, my, my friend you want to say <clears throat> uh no thank you this this is this is great all right thank you very much for calling you're welcome. And I will try to find uh, the video for you so you can watch it. Uh, thanks, CP. I can't play it here because they will make it a uh, copyright claim, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The copyright strikes. All right. Take care, my friend. You're welcome. Thank you. Let us see. I think her name was Foxy. Well, this video should be kept online, actually. People, they should spread it around because it's really present a lot of uh, <coughs> of the truth. Here we go. I found it. You go, guys, and download it. And please, please download it and share it everywhere. Because this is a very honest video made by this woman, stupid woman who converted to Islam. I, I just posted it. It's there. Do you see it? It's literally, it's speaking the truth about the cult of Islam. So download it and post it everywhere. This is a stupid woman, Canadian. She converted to Islam. And there she is telling you how much hypocrite the Muslims are. I wish I can play it for you. Even though she used a very filthy language, and this is why maybe she converted to Islam. This site cannot be reached. What do you mean cannot be reached? You could not open the link, guys. Did the link open? Did the YouTube link open or no? No, okay. Let me see. If I post it in the, I will post it in the in the uh, in the info of the video here. Let me see. I think now it should open. It should show. Refresh the page. Uh, leave the leave the, the leave the YouTube. Refresh your page. And tell me, do you see it? It should be it should be appearing in the info and tell me do you see it okay all right yeah now you can click on it and you can download it and you will see how this woman she say everything about Islam 
as it is how hypocrite they are they claim to be virgins they claim to be etc they claim they claim they claim but in the same time everything they claim is not true far away from the truth but nothing new but just be aware she has a very dirty tongue and obviously she have a mental issue to convert to Islam anyway a human being he have a intelligent will not convert to Islam And this is why those videos should be spread all over so people they can see uh, let's say uh, a witness from inside from indoor you see when i talk about about islam they will say to, okay this guy he is a christian prince he don't like islam etc he teach against it but this is a girl she is a muslim now supposedly she converted to islam she is part of this stupid cult she work in dubai i think and uh, she have, uh, and this is what happened, by the way. Those Western lost women, they like to be with Middle Eastern men, and for a very simple reason. When a woman she is from the West, she go with Middle Eastern man. Middle Eastern man, he spend his money on her, not like Western men who they, you know, talk to you equally. Like we go to the restaurant, fifty fifty. We go to the movie, you pay fifty fifty. Well, we share an apartment we pay 50 50 middle eastern man he have the mentality that he is the male and you are the potato so he he have to pay for everything so he can control you it's not because being good but because he like to be in control if it's 50 50 it's mean we have to share our opinion 50 50 too we have to make decision 50 50 too right and that is not what he like some people they think that because he is generous this is not about generosity this is because he likes to own you this is why they don't like the women to work so he can have full control of her it's not because he is generous you don't work you will be fully independent dependent on him as simple as that and then you cannot make him angry because if you make him angry, you become homeless. You have no job, you have no work, you have nothing to do. He control your life. So you will think one million times before you leave his house or you leave his command. So those women who they are lazy, they like to have gifts. They like to have somebody spend their money on them. This is why they go and they go out with Muslim men. They say to you that we are protective. That's not true. They like to own you, my friend. They are like a property. It is a property business. He own you. A person who trusts you, he do not need to be protective to the point he watch over you what you are doing. He will be scared that you will see someone and talk to someone because simply he don't trust you. He own you. Anyway, I think we have enough for today. I hope today, guys, you have a good time. And for those who download my videos, you can download the whole video. And maybe it's better if you cut where we finish with Dr. Rohi and make it as a full video debate with Dr. Rohi for today and name it, Who is Allah? Dr. Rohi versus a Christian Prince. And for sure, as usual, Muslims defeated the Christian Prince as usual, as always. Thank you very much, my friends, for being here. May the Lord bless you all, and I wish you the best of time with your family and your friends in this blessed weekend. Christ is Lord, and Islam is false. And we see you soon again. Thank you. Bye-bye.